always remember that power is a double-edged blade. One side light, the other dark. Start off today with a little tavern brawl, a warm up, before we hop into our arena. Uh, I don't actually know, I think this is just judging from shift con, it's just we have nothing but shifters in our deck, is that right? Yeah, just shifters and spells. So basically, what spells do we want? What spells are good with, like, basically an arena deck? Mage and Paladin. <laughs> uh, let's go, Mage. Let us do it! Let us embrace the power of the ping! <laughs> Alright. Let's see what these decks are going to look like. I, I'm pretty sure it's just every card is Shifter's Arrows, and then you have like four to six spells that are your class. That's probably it. <clears throat> so that's perfect for us. Uh, perfect warm-up for arena for us, so. Well, Priest is not bad. There's some Shadow Word Pain, some Shadow... or uh, some Power Word Shield stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and throw all these back and try and fish out some spells here. See what other spells we got going. Seems like we have lots of Shifter's Errors. <laughs> Do we tempo play on turn one? Oh, wait. Greetings. Wait a minute, I have three mana. Oh, I think I do have to tempo play then. Three mana, three, three, I guess that's fine. That's not so bad. It's a little weak against Priest because Priest has Shadow Word Pain, but who knows if he actually has it. I'm sure if he does, he only has one copy, so. Oh, that's a good one. See, that's much better than mine. Even though I'm going to be able to, like, trade for free on board, like, that actually discovers a useful card. At least in theory, a useful card. That was a really good one, though. Being that polluted hoarder is real nice. Now that feels real nice. Yes, it does. The thing that's bad about this is uh, if you top deck... Shifter Zeris, it's still Shifter Zeris, so you gotta actually wait the turn before it becomes a useful card. Kinda sucks. Gonna be a little tough. Hmm, can anything funny happen with this? Don't think so. Ooh! Oh, 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 oh yeah! Oh, we'll be doing this right here. This will be our play. Okay. Um, it feels so bad to let this happen. Ah. Ah. God, I don't think I can stop it, though. Like, this is going to kill my soul more than anything else. Ah. Uh, I guess we do this and draw. I will make him uh, do the trade himself, though. Push some of that damage to face. Maybe convince him to hero power when he otherwise wouldn't. But this is nice. It's nice that we got three of them in hand so they can all start shifting. And we've probably got our uh, first spell coming up here soon. Just because we've been going for a little bit. This would have been nice to be able to play, but yeah. Can't have it all. Oh, beautiful. Man, he's getting some good ones. These uh, Discover cards are, I think, pretty good. This is actually useless. That's not helpful. I mean, this would be nice if I had spells in my hand. I guess I just play the 4 mana 3-4 and ping the face, call it a day. I like this. This has some benefits down the road, you know. It's like, eh, not that great, but 
It could be helpful if we draw a spell next turn and like it isn't answered immediately. So let's see. Let's see. Okay, no spell. Um, this is pretty good. <laughs> that's that's pretty good in arena. Now this seems fun, but this seems pretty good. So we're gonna go. Oh whoa, yeah, we're gonna do that one. The question is, I don't even think I need to ask the question. I think I just wait. Sure, he'll get some heal value off, but I can always hit that with Swamp King Dread next turn. Assuming he doesn't play something poisonous. No poison! No poison! And not a poisonous minion. What's it gonna be? Gavin the priest, come on! What do you got for me? Got the pass, the heal pass. Is that what I'm seeing? Five mana pass? Divine spirit, okay, okay. Huh, <laughs> Doomsayer. I wonder! I wonder if this would pull other dragons I had in my hand. That would be interesting, and this is very nice. Definitely going to be playing that one. Let's see what we can do here. There's the plus three. I think we just go ahead and take that. We could arguably take poisonous, but I think the plus three attack is basically the same thing since it's going to attack anything he plays. And it's like, you know, why not? Uh, yeah, I think I, I, I'm pretty sure I want to just save all this. Um, why not just chill and give myself the extra three damage so if I ever get to swing face with Dread, it does more damage to face. Smork, smork, smork. We go face. In conclusion. Oh, the jungle provides. Oh my god, I clicked the wrong one. That poor son of a bitch. Oh no, he totally would have killed it. Does it attack both? I only think it attacks the first one, right? So that's after you play. Yeah, wow. Amazing. Oh my god, I get, to, I get to adapt him. I think I have to adapt him and try and give him like the... Uh, the plus health so you can survive. Yes! Give the health to me! Yes! Um. Do I want to do that? Two mana? Yeah, that's probably alright. Because I imagine Swamp King Dread's about to go down here pretty soon. This is really weak to AoE though. My board's pretty weak already to AoE. I'll actually pass it. Pass it up. Plus, it keeps her nice and healthy. Ah, which means um, if I do get a nice polymorph target, I can get myself a free totem. So, free basic totem, not bad. I'll take it, I'll take it. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. I was thinking swinging with her, but it's like, mm, Holy Nova, I don't know, that AoE. Yeah, that's I 7 agent, I respect that. I'll take out the Swamp King too. She kind of blows, but that's alright. Let's see what we got here. Uh, this seems probably okay. Especially because it has a chance to discard the recent shifter, so... Um... I really don't want to discard Polymorph, but I think I have to play something. Okay, that's fine. I want to get some higher value cards than those uh, three drops. Now, whatever he has, I can deal with it. As long as it's not, like, a very Battle Cry heavy card. If it's a Battle Cry heavy card, like, the Polymorph is far less good because it's not actually negating the significant value of the card. See, that's good. That's good because, theoretically, it wasn't going to be a shitty Freezing Potion. It was going to be another Shifter, so that way I could actually, uh, get something to work here. What is this? Was it whenever... Taxa Minion survives. Okay. 
Oh, you guys know how much I like that card in Arena. <laughs> oh boy. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. I think we gotta just do this. I don't really think I need to freeze that right now. Wouldn't be the worst thing ever, but... Doesn't seem super important. Oh! Brutal. Well, that's why God made the sheep, you know? And on the seventh day, he said unto thee, Become a sheep! <laughs> I think I should play this. I want to um, Forbidden Flame that just to take it out, but I think playing this while I have an actual valuable card to play is probably worth it. Plus I can Forbidden Flame whatever he plays, and theoretically at this point He's doing the same as me, just like trying to play big cards. So let's see what big minion he has. A six drop, maybe? He's gonna trade in with that. That's good. We have many secrets. He doesn't have secrets, so that's fine. Okay, good. Good, good, good. <clears throat> um, I don't think I'm gonna play either of those guys. Do I like grossly Overkill the Kirin Tor with this, I guess. It saves an HP on him, so I think that's probably right. And this is only the minion, so it's like this is how I get control of the board again. Yeah, I mean it's arguable I could have just froze Kirin Tor Mage and gone face, but and I don't have two turn lethal. I have three turn lethal, so. Especially not if that's not accounting for his hero power, which he would be leaning on very hard. <laughs> oh god, that's funny. I mean, he's not even a threat. Like, that's not the worst play. It's not the worst card by any means, but it's like, he's not even a threat. Oh, this is a good card. Wow, this, this is a really good card. I forgot how valuable that card was. Now we'll go ahead and take that one. <laughs> go ahead and take that one. <laughs> I'm on fire! Woo! -hoo, I'm fire! So this damage from the fire blast will stick because he'll attack and heal, which means this could then trade in there. Or I could just stop him from attacking and preserve the divine shield. Definitely do that. Question is if I freeze it. I don't know that I want to freeze it, because then it'll heal it up to six and force another Fire Blast the next turn with three Shifter cards. I might not want to Fire Blast, so I think we just go for it. I do believe we go for it. Oh, Justice. Does he heal Cthulhu here? Yep, there it is. Called it. <laughs> All right. Can't quite make this survive, which is unfortunate. I mean, these are okay to sort of throw things on the board and gain tempo. Hmm. <laughs> Jaina, you are right with that. Hmm. Right on the money. I think I, I think I just do this. Definitely freeze here. Take the cocoon out. Light them up! Question is do I ping? Do I infest a tauren? I think I ping. I think I will do that. And the good thing about the uh, wind-up Burglebot 
is that he's like prohibitive. So even though like this is a way to trade into him for like an even or worst case like better trade, theoretically we could like hit and hit somebody that's uh, even weaker if he played a low drop card. Like if this is a two drop. Oh. Oh goodness. Oh my goodness. But but the value. Think of the value! Ah, oh, he survives! I think we actually swing first, right? Because there's... All targets are chosen randomly. So there's a 1 in 4. You hit the bad thing. But he starts with the 1 in... Or a 50-50 that he hits the good thing. I think that's how we have to do it. I don't think we... I mean, we can also throw him in to the mix. The Talon piece... But uh, first, I think we figure out where he went. Because if he goes to the right spot, then I'll want to keep him alive. Do not uh, okay, that's still fine. Sub ideal, but still fine. Light him up. Oh, that definitely means I want to do this then. Does it? Yeah, I think I do just to take out a 5-1. Oh my god, I forgot even the ping is random. Oh my goodness, the mayor! Oh my god, I forgot! Yeah, I don't think it negates like the initial target, so... Okay, good. We survived that. That's a good start. That health doesn't do much for him. Oh, god. Yes. Yes, it actually went on that one. Okay. Ha! 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 Oh my god. This has devolved. This game has devolved. <laughs> Did I say sorry? What? Amazing. That's what I meant to say. Oh, I'll take the Ivory Knight, yeah. This is also really good, but let's play the Ivory Knight while we got it. Because playing cards with Stormwind Champion seems really good right now. Vaporize could be good, because he might accidentally attack face. Um, My apologies. Let's go ahead and do that. Because if he attacks face, that would be really good for us. Alright, here we go. Oh, come on, not the snail! Yes! And take out the mayor. Oh, that would have been really good if I'd had one more mana. Alright, unfortunately, we're not actually able to uh, get too much value out of that because now the snail is in the way. Ironically, it would have been better for us the other way. But uh, I think we do leave it like this, make him trade first. I don't think there's any, like, more optimal way to do this, so... Yeah. Because we want him to trade while the Stormwind Champion is up. Like, he's not going to do that, but... Oh, God, disaster. Alright, he didn't check for Vaporize. Nice. <laughs> not quite what was fun. <laughs> I mean, we're almost certainly doing this to get rid of the Poison Man. But the problem is, that means I don't have extra damage for the Stormwind Knight. This will draw me, like, an answer more consistently. But this lets me discover exactly an answer. Probably. Mage, Priest, or Warlock probably would give me something. It's hard. I'm gonna do Cabalist Stone instead. Mmm. Not what I wanted to see. Not what I wanted to see. Well, it's not that bad, though, because I can play this. But it's like... It's still not as good as I was hoping for. It'll it'll have to do me, but, uh... You know. sub i do. I'm gonna just play this out. 
Develop the one two. As one, who knows if we shift into elemental matters. But even if we don't, um, it's still a one two on the board that can hit his face a little bit. We're probably just gonna meteor next turn. We might fire Lance Portal King, depending on what he does. Yeah, that leans me towards meteor. Oh wait. He can't heal anymore. Good play around Meteor there. I respect that, I respect that. Hmm, okay. Let's see here. Do we... Meteor? I don't think so. I think... It's so hard because we just don't have a way to deal an extra damage. Like, if the fork was already in my hand... That would be great, but unfortunately it's not. Mm. I think we just leave the Temple Enforcer on the board and get our like ping value here. Eh, then I can't develop Fork though, and this is actually good to give me a weapon with this much health, so I actually really want to do that. Do I, do I just Firelands Portal this? That feels so inefficient. I guess I'll Firelands Portal and trade the 1-2 in. Let's see. Let's see what we get first, or anything else. Oh, 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 that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Because that means he can't just, like, sack it, you know? So, great. I'll take it! I'll take it! Oh, I'll take it! <laughs> okay, okay. We're feeling good, we're feeling good. And we just gotta get a nice meteor off. If we can get a little bit of value here, that'd be great. If he pops the fork, even if he doesn't, like, I think this is a three mana weapon, right? So, like, we can swing in and just clear out some of these token guys, and then this meteor will actually hit a lot more relevant targets, in theory. I guess we don't really need to that much. Go ahead and do that. Get ourselves a weapon. Yep, three mana. It's been so long since I saw that, I was not sure. Keep it. Uh, keep it honest with you guys. <laughs> uh, go ahead and take out one of these. Well, since I know, because I only have seven. So, go ahead and do like that. Do like this. Behold! The, the face! It's arguable that I should have played just one of these guys. Uh, not the Blood Imp, but either uh, Vile Quinn, Vile Finn, rather. Uh, or Shifter Zeris, because, uh, like, I kind of have lethal, but, like, if he had, like, some sort of, uh, way to deal, like, any damage, it would've, like, screwed me up. Or, like, remove a weapon. Like, we saw, I think, twice weapon removal. So. Alright, nice! That free pack! The value! The value! Alright, great. Now let's... Well, let's go ahead and open that pack, actually. Urch, urch. I think we actually have another one, too. Yes, ooh. Oh, the golden blessing of wisdom. A golden card I will never use. Yes. Some good cards in there. Always nice to see Savannah make an appearance. Uh, Paladin is here. Dust! Become dust! Go and collect that seven other dust. I don't know what the other card I was missing was, but alas, here we are in the arena. Oh, it's good to be back. Alright, let's see. Druid, Rogue, or Warlock. I actually think these car er, classes are all fairly good because, I mean, sure, Warlock can't deal one damage, but. It gets to tap, and that's super good in Arena, because I can draft a really low curve. The only problem is Warlock cards on average suck. <laughs> so, um, I kind of lean towards Druid, because he does have the ability to deal one damage, and he's got some pretty good class cards. Rogue has really good tempo, but I feel like Rogue is pretty inconsistent. Hmm... I'm gonna actually go Warlock here. I don't see enough Warlock going on. Well, hold on, actually, let's look at it like this. What's our quest? 
Drew and a rogue. All right, there we go. That'll do it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Are you all right to awaken? Oh my goodness, yes. Okay. Here's the thing. These all sort of dictate something, right? If we go with Medivh, and they're all pretty decent value for their mana curve. Like, Medivh is probably the uh, worst defender out of those, but let's look at their effects, right? If we play Deathwing, that means we're going to want to draft, like, almost every dragon we see from here on out. Even if they're shitty, draft them and hold them and then play Deathwing and let that make them all zero mana, you know? That feels hard. Dragons don't come up that much in Druid. So this, I actually, even though this is the best stat value probably, I, I'm leaning away from this. Now big, big spells in Druid are not that uncommon. And there are some decent ones that we would want to pick up. Do we want to pick up three? And do we want to pick up three big spells? Mm, probably not. Excuse me, oh jeez. The hiccups there. Um, and Fandrill says, okay, anytime you have a choose one card, you're going to get some value. Do I want to pick Fandrill? Am I going to pick some choose one cards? I think so. So even though I think these are like generally received as more like greater value cards, I'm going to go ahead and start off with Fandrill. And I'm going to look for those choose one keywords, you know? This seems pretty good. We could go for some Morlock stuff, or some Murloc stuff, rather. Um, we could also do this. This isn't so bad. Battle cards are pretty fairly common, but it, just how long I would have to wait to play this, I don't think that's good. So I'm going to go ahead and go with Blaze Caller. Just because it's so early, I can pick up the other elementals. So we'll go Blaze Caller. We'll be ambitious here. This seems like a good value card. And it's a two drop that's never bad. Jade Blossom is okay. I don't have a way to activate Raging Worgen myself. Buddy is a three drop. Again, this isn't so bad, but this is a dead card late game. And, it's, and it doesn't give me the cycle card um, of overloading the excess mana. So I'm going to go with Worgen. Uh, here's our... Here's our big card if we had gone the other route, but, uh, you know, that's okay. I think we still pick it here. Starfire is still pretty good. Hmm. These are both really, like, pretty solid value cards. But this is a really good card to play on turn one. And we've already got a lot of late game kind of starting to build up, so I'm going to go ahead and go for the early game here, just to push us to that late game. I don't think this is very good in Arena. Go ahead and pick the Rock Pool Hunter. There's our Elemental and the best card. Hmm. I think Nesting Rock is probably... I mean, you could always get a lot of value with Mad Bomber, but I think Nesting Rock is probably the best value card here. Uh, consistently, at least. And we don't have any 5 drops yet, so I'm going to go ahead and pick the Nesting Rock. Plus, it's good to get some Taunt going. We don't have any of that yet. Um, adapt the Murlocs, you know, that's not so bad. We do have, uh, one Murloc going, and a, like, 5-4 for 4 is not bad. Certainly not, like, a 3-6 for 5. Uh, the question is Living Mana or Gentle Megasaur. AoE is less common in Arena, and if we save Living Mana as, like, a sort of later mid-game card, and just drop it and burst out, and still have a couple low drops in hand, that could actually synergize really well for us. I think this has the most value as like top decking in the very late game. Whereas this is like a nice four drop. And I don't really want to play Fandral on four, so I only have the one four. And I also don't want to have to play this because I have Blaze Clone in the deck. So I'm actually going to go for Gentle Megasword here. And it incentivizes me to pick up more Murlocs if I wasn't already with that. Hey, there's our choose one, so we're going to... Both it's the best card, and we're going to choose it here. There's a choose one again. Again, arguably the best card here. Um, I definitely don't think we need to do this, because we're trying to curve. 
I don't think this is likely to go off in arena, so we'll go ahead and take the Z Ancient. There's our Tiger that we passed up on earlier and felt a little bad about. Margaret the Lotus, not too bad, but. Uh, but meh. Eh? We don't have a like proactive 6 drop. Like, Starfire is reactive, so. Uh, is it better? How consistently am I going to get a board? Mm, we don't have the best curve just yet. We're starting to build it up, but we're a little heavier on the curve. So I think that increases the value of Taunt, because we might be playing from behind a little bit more. Mm, I don't know. I think I'm going to pick the Ancient Blossoms. I, I feel like that might be a mistake, but uh, I'm going to go for it anyway. This is a nice curve card, but holy smokes, if we're up against weapon classes, this is so good. This is also really good in Arena, Lunar Visions. Because I'm very likely to draw. Like, I have one spot. <laughs> you know? Like, that means this is a three... This is our worst Arcane Intellect so far. Um, but this is just so good, I don't think I can pass it up. And I don't think we, like, our curve is thick enough to where I don't think we need to, like, have a lot of late-game draw cards. Um, two drops or three drops? I mean, this is nice in the late game as well, so I'm inclined to just pick up Stubborn Gastrophy just for having it. This is not bad. I'm gonna go ahead and do Gastrophy just for the extra utility. Hmm, second Nesting Rock isn't quite as good as we rock. I mean, 5 mana 4 7 is not bad, you know? Um, not like a 7 mana 4 8. <laughs> the one is an elemental, but, you know, I, I don't think so. I think we'll just pick another Nesting Rock here. Um, do I sack one attack to get an elemental tag? I mean, theoretically, we can Fire Plume into Servant of Calamus, the dream, but I, I think realistically, I'm like giving up one attack and occasional upside for like just this elemental tag to activate Blaze Caller. But that makes Blaze Caller a lot better. So I'm going to go for it. I'll sack it. I'll, I'll go to the value right here. I don't think this is consistent enough with the amount of elementals we have. Five attack minion, how often will I hold that? There's three of them, four of them, yeah, four of them. Um, so this, I think this is probably better than that, but we do need more threes. We only have the two threes so far. But it's like, do I really want a five one with adapt, or do I want a three three? And even this isn't guaranteed, so I'm just gonna I'll take the three mana three three and just be a little sad about it. That's what our hero power is for. Um, this seems like it'd be okay in our deck. We've got a lot of like five and higher stuff, but I'm gonna go ahead and pick the choose one again just for the fangirl synergy. And this is a good late game card. Mm, red mana worm probably the best here. This is arguably good, but we already have a mistress of mixtures, so I'm gonna get a. Another late game card, and just call that good. Super prioritize anything early. I'm going to pick up Firefly, because it's an early game card, and it gives us a definite way to enable both Kalamos and Blaze Color, which is super good. And Wild Growth doesn't seem that great in Arena. Um, we already have some weapon destruction, so that makes Ooze a little less good. We could... I think this is such a good value card, and it's a 2-drop. Let's just go ahead and take that. Hmm. Twilight Summoner, Hydra, or Living Mana. Oh, decisions, decisions. Um. I mean, so this is a five mana eight eight because my health doesn't matter in arena. I think it's definitely better than Living Mana. Probably better than a four mana one one summon a five five. We have so many 5 drops already. Ugh. I think I'm just going to take it. We have too many 5 drops though. Uh, yes, I'll take the Tower Creeper. This is a really good card, but I definitely need more 3 drops. 
Uh, both of these are really good cards. I would take... This is choose one. That might actually be what tips it over the edge here. This is five. Okay, so we can think of it like this, right? Do I want a 2-2 two -two body for the cost of five health when I already have uh, the Bitter Tide in deck? Or do I want the option to have a little AoE here since I don't have Swipe? Or just do the five damage anyway. I think I'll I think I'll take the flexibility and sort of saving the health because since I have bitter tide, if I didn't have bitter tide, I might have leaned towards bomb squad. But alas, crawler or seer or crusher. That is a six mana eight eight in arena. God, we got so many late game cards though. This just this curve is so heavy. How many two drops do we have? These are all proactive two drops, which is nice. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and we have two one drops. That's not so bad. God, I think I just really need the two though. So I don't, I mean, I have the AOE from Starfall. I theoretically could have the board to like deal with his board because I've got decent cards. They're just thick. I do have a little bit of targeted damage, some more targeted damage. Ah, uh, I mean this is just a two three with upside. This is a six mana eight eight, and this is some AOE for me. Some synergy with Rockpool Hunter won't hit him if I play Rockpool. And then play Seer next turn. Oh man. I mean, the thing is, the six slot isn't so heavy. The five is what's really heavy. So these aren't that bad to pick, even though we're heavy on the curve. Oh man. Brutal? Brutal rip? What do we decide? Oh, chat! <laughs> I think we. I, oh man. It's just so tough. I think it's very greedy to pick a 6-drop here, but I think I'm a greedy guy. You know what I mean? This might have been the wrong choice because we only have one spell, but... Yeah. Hindsight. Yeah, I don't know, man. Destroy the pirate would be a really nice little bit of utility there. Man, plus it's an elemental. I gotta do this, man. I gotta take the elemental. I'm so greedy. Whoa! Two legendaries! Oh my goodness, that's so sick! Oh, man. Do we pick Illidan? The greed? Well, I think we gotta do Mukla, man. I think we gotta do Mukla to sort of secure us into the late game. Yeah, I think we're gonna do Mukla. I think Mukla's a worse card than Illidan. Which may be controversial, but I'm going to go ahead and pick him. Just because we need more thickness in the early game. So I think we've got the late game covered at this point. And for that same reason is why I will not pick the third <laughs> Ancient of War. And I'm going to pick a second Gluttonous Ooze here. And I will probably play one of these as a turn three play, so having another one for a little bit of weapon destruction is nice. I'm so greedy that I want to pick it, but I won't. I won't! I'll be a responsible man! Ah, the double legendary deck. Sounds good. We got enough threes now. So I think we can throw back threes. Like aggressively mulligan for ones and twos. And luckily all our ones and twos are good. So we should be all right. Okay, two, three. The light shall bring victory. I must protect the wild. Mm, okay. I can play this on turn three and then coin out Calamus. I'll probably do that. Does that mean I throw back Blood and Zeus? I mean, this is just a three mana three three in this matchup. Because priests don't have weapons. So I'll play this 
turn two, turn three, turn four. And fishing for a better two drop than just throwing them out. Okay, that's a little bit better. I mean, is it against Priest though? Probably not actually. Because if he plays a 2 3, I'm toast. Or at least it would force me to. Oh, I could play this. Hmm. We got a lot of options for turn two now. That's nice. I'm not going to coin anything out because I definitely want to coin out Servant of Kalamos for the value. And it makes Servant of Kalamos a Yeti, so. Still pretty strong. <laughs> the Holy Smite to face. Spectacular. Oh, nice. We got another elemental. That's pretty dope. Um, I think I can go ahead and do this. Because this is effectively the same thing. That's pretty bad. <laughs> Kidnapper's pretty bad, but, you know, it's a free card. What do you, what do you know? What do you know? What do you say? I sort of got to take it as it comes. Hmm. Okay. I'm a little wary of that buff potential, but, you know. So what I think I'm going to do now is I'm going to Tar Creeper. Then I'm going to coin out Thunder Lizard and something. And then I will play Kalamos on five. So we'll start up our elemental chain here. Start the elemental chain going. Behold the power of elemental druid. <laughs> Okay. Hmm, that's pretty good. It's pretty good silence for him. Takes out taunt and two attack. Pretty value. Um, uh, we could also tap after our coin instead. Start with this, see what adapt we get. Plus one, plus one, not so bad. Plus three is good. All of those are pretty good. Against Priests, I think the plus one, plus one is probably best, just so we can't deal with it. I don't want to invest, invest too much in a Shadow or Pain target. Living Spores also hedges against that, but... Mm. I kind of already have a way to deal one damage here. Mm. Eh... I guess I'll go ahead and do that. And we'll go ahead and coin out the tap here. To make use out of the tar people all we can. Very well! Very well! Now we'll Servant of Calamus. Hopefully have a board. And uh, play Fandral, defend the board. And then start getting some Fandral value out of the choose ones here. Oh yeah, he did have the activator. That's unfortunate. That's a 5-5, five, five, right? Yeah, 5-5. Five, five. So it's gonna be a little tricky to deal with. I mean, it's gonna eat both these guys, maybe? It might also be that we can just play Gastropod. If we break it, and then just take her out and ignore it and play the Gastropod, that might be best. Wait, what? Is this not an elemental? Oh shit, it's a beast. Greetings. Greetings. Yeah, whoops. That's okay. In that case, we'll go ahead and play the gastropod anyway. Because the gastropod seemed really good there, regardless, so. I won. I play 2 3 against Priest. Um, hmm. I'm a little wary. Just because of AoE. We got such a card advantage already. I think I'm gonna just play it safe here. I think AoE is his way to come back in it. So if we can avoid that, that'd be great.
I really don't want to kidnap her. <laughs> five, a six mana five three feels real bad. <coughs> so we could. <coughs> oh goodness. I think we'll trade in the Beetleberries and the Tar Creeper. Then we're at four mana. Eh. I don't think it's that worth playing off curve at this point. Especially when I have such a good play here. And this enables Calamus next turn. And after I play this, I can also play Rock Pool Hunter to curve out, so I think that's the best play. <clears throat> and if we discover something that is an elemental chain, that gives us another card to play instead of these choose one cards, so we can continue to hold out for the Fandral value. Good pickup for him, low drop, sorry. Good on the board right now. Just because I have an 8-8 that freezes itself, so the more sort of insignificant targets I have to deal with, the more that thing's gonna be frozen. Ooh. Um I'm definitely gonna do this. Let's see what we get first for anything else. Oh <laughs> double blaze color, huh? That's pretty nifty. I think we'll do that. So we'll go ahead and do like this and like that. And since we have double blaze color, I think it's actually okay to freeze the 8-8 here <clears throat> because we have a fast way to deal with something two turns in a row. Or we could even target face with the blaze collars. And like we have a charge minion to finish him up. Not that afraid of the scaled nightmare. Uh huh. Spectacular. Try one. Well played. Yeah, I think I just ignore that and go face. Not quite lethal, but I think I'm okay with that. Flames consume you. Flames consume you. I'm not sure that taunt's gonna stop us. No, nor will a street trickster. And even if he had healed face both last turn and this turn, he'd only be at six, so yeah. That's the GG! I think we will go ahead and finish him off with another blaze caller though. Luckily, by not healing his face last turn, he permitted us of the swag finish. <clears throat> A good first win <clears throat> with neither legendary, so pretty happy about that. So many elementals, yes! The elements will destroy you, except I'm druid, not shaman. All right, let's keep it going. Unfortunately, we're not getting the free wins anymore from the uh, frost festival. But, uh, you know, hopefully that makes uh, the competition at the bottom a little easier. We'll see. I will fight with honor. I must protect the wild. One, two, three. I guess it's fine. The Firefly deals with his one ones. I think that's probably wrong, though. I think the competition was probably easier when everyone was doing arena, so. Once people like don't have the free arena stuff, 
for the free win, they probably won't do it as much. That's kind of unfortunate. Hmm. I can do this instead. Because then I can tap next turn and play the one drop. I think that's fine. I think that's fine. We'll see. Let's see what he does next turn. Okay, he played a slow card. Good, never punished. He's going to get some value, but uh, it allows us to get a little bit of tempo on the bard. Which I'm always happy about. Slightly always happy about that. Uh oh, never mind. Point it out. Wow. Well, he just messed up by giving us some value there, so. That's all wrong, good. Man, that's brutal. Brutal! Question is, do I want to throw out the Raging Worg in here? I get Gastropod and Flame Elemental, but I'm probably going to play this on turn four. So I'll just go ahead and do this. And by doing that, it allows me to have a little flexibility. I can Hero Power and Gastropod, or I could just Fire Plume. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and just Fire Plume that down. Feels a little bit bad to overkill it, but it does allow us to have the enabled Raging Ward in here, which is real good for us. Sure, he got a little value out of that. That was pretty. That was a pretty insane <laughs> light in the darkness into like card that's buffed, so it has draw a card. Um, oh, that's unfortunate. I guess that's why he was so willing to play into Rage Jim Morgan there. That's all right. Take it slow. Try and squeeze out some of the value here because we are feeling a little bit behind on the value. Well, let's abuse our board control. We're not going for a face finish early. So let's just try and take what we got. Because our goal is to mosey on into late game and have our heavy curve carry us, so. We've gotten surprisingly a large amount of the early game we even have in the deck already, so. Definitely want to tap here. I'll just take that to face. No problem. Sending the elemental there. Um, do I want to play the Flame Elemental? It means I won't be able to enable my Blaze Caller or my Servant of Kalamos unless I top deck it. Mm -hmm. So I don't have any other Elementals in the deck. I think I save it. Because this is a fast enough card where this is probably okay to play to deal with something if I top deck that. Give me a little time to play the Flame Elemental and enable the Elemental Chain Synergy, so... I think we do need the Elemental Synergy to carry us through a little bit here. Oh, Rallying really, Blade, that sucks. That is unfortunate for us. This is a good card to play. Both of these are good cards to play into that, but... Uh... We could also Nesting Rock from that, but I definitely want to tap here, so I think I'll play this one. Yeah, we'll go for the value here with the taunt. I'm not trying to rush to finish this guy off. We could try for that, but it's like, ah, eh, you'd be at 9. Like, this only targets minions. Like, eh, I just feel like we could uproot, but that seems bad. <laughs> okay, Bob Creek, that's fine. We have exactly eight with the Starfall, so we're okay about that. All right, here's where we can start getting a little bit of elemental stuff going on. Uh, it will mean that we won't be able to enable Blaze Caller or Kalamas, but mm, I mean, will this be good enough? Possibly. 
I feel like he's low enough now to where it's okay to start pressuring the face. So I'm gonna go ahead and go for it. This also enables us to win if we top deck Blaze Color. So we're kind of going all in here, but uh, we'll see. He needs an answer. Okay, that's the answer. Man, charge Devil Sword. Like I think out of the last like two arena runs I've done, like I've seen charge Devil Sword at least once, like every time. That's so insane. Insane to me. I guess we do this. I think three health is equal to six against uh, Paladin. Play that. Let's see what we get. Arguably could have played that first, but uh, this is fine. Seven mana, seven, seven. And we could still get Starfire with it, so. There's some potential value there. There is some potential value with this. And Starfire can go face, so. It is possible for us to win on that. Hero Power, Cho'Gal, Starfire. Though, I guess theoretically we could just Hero Power, Starfire. <laughs> but, uh, you know. Let's swag with it, you know? Let's uh, get our extra little bit of style points going on here. That sucks. Taunt really hurts when we're pushing face. That also hurts. I'm gonna take the... Oh, he's going face, sorry. I don't know if I agree with that play, but we'll see. We'll see what we got going on. If that's Redemption, that's going to make me cry, because I, I can't deal with another, like, 3-1 behind Divine Shield and Taunt. That's going to hurt me. Not Divine Shield is fine. Punish forward, but, uh, you know. So I think, almost no matter what, I want to go these two and tap. Let's start and see if this is get down. Okay, it's get down. Nice. Good. So we'll sack this. Playing a little out of order myself, but that's fine. Kind of sucks. We would have traded into that regardless of if it had taunt or not. But what we can say is we got a lot of thick guys. We got our thickness going on. We're, we're the thick druid. <laughs> so the problem is that draw card is killing me, man. Oh, brutal. Brutal. Oh my god. Now Starfire doesn't even save me. Oh man, this is so unfortunate. So unfortunate. Uh, I think this is okay to play in that board. Kinda hard for him to do exactly 10. We'll throw the 2-3 behind it. Oh, just start getting some heal value and throw a 2-3 body on the board. This is brutal! He stabilized! No! We're not even an aggro deck. Like, how did he get in the position where he needed to stabilize and then did? I think it's just because he had 3 damage, not super significant, but unfortunately it's enough for charge a double sword. I think it's just because he got that uh, Blessing of Wisdom on this. He just drew so many cards. So many cards. And look at him, he's even gonna keep it alive. Oh man, the guts. The guts on this guy, man. All the ancients. Alright, now, doing that is important because what that means is. If we do draw Starfire, we win. Because now we dealt with his last taunt, hopefully his last taunt. He's got, you know, seven cards in hand, but... We can also fatigue him to death. That is possible, it is possible we could fatigue him. Oh! Oh, the Mind Cleaver! Oh! Oh, that hurt. Oh, no! And Doctor 3. I missed Starfire or Bust. 
Ah, oh, darn. Couldn't do the fl blaze collar. Ah, oh, if only it were enabled. If only you were enabled. Darn. Oh, darn it! Alright. Alright. Well, I feel good about how we drafted it, because I was feeling like... Um... We might have drafted too heavy on the curve. But in that loss, we actually had, like, board control the whole time. And, I mean, we... We did end the game with two seven sevens in hand, but like he had way more cards than us. So maybe it was less that our curve was heavy. The more that we don't have that many fast answers. We have some. Fire Plume. Starfall. Starfire. Not tons though. Do I want to keep him for turn four? Maybe. Maybe I'll throw the ooze back for sure. I think I keep him as a four drop. That's fine. I only have two other four drops, so I think I actually have to keep them if I get them like that. There's my real four drop, though. My greetings. My greetings. My greetings. Yeah, the first game of elemental, like, train stuff was really good. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Two... Three, for sure. Do this to keep the chain going, and then this on turn five, which leaves us a possible hero power. Oh, so many elementals. So many big ones. Okay. So you didn't get the help. Oh, Divine Shield. Ouch. That definitely still sucks for us. Mm. I really want to tap to break the Divine Shield. Boy, does that hurt my curve. Oh, do I let him two for one? I mean, we've got value incoming ourselves, so... I guess. God, that feels so bad. This is so inefficient. I tap, I can do this on turn four, and that on turn five. My board state sort of remains the same. He's going on turn four. Three, five on turn four might be okay. It chains me to doing this, though. I think I'm gonna do this. I don't think I can let him get out of, uh, get that much value. Question is effect coin. I think I do as well. The reason I'm so confident with coining this out, even though I kind of wanted to use it to chain these guys, is because I have another elemental in Frozen Crusher. So I think we can figure out a way to make it work, you know? And it is nice to get him out there when I, like, do have health that can be restored, so, you know, it's fine. Little upside. But I think I'm going to go Tar Creeper next turn over Fandral, because it's a 3-5 with Taunt, and he's not. Yeah, that's fine. Nice. Nice! A really slow turn. Really slow turn. That's super good for us. Holy smokes. That is exactly what we need to see. Great. Wonderful, wonderful. Now we serve him with Kalmos into Thunder Lizard on turn six, which leaves us three mana to also play Gut Gluttonous Ooze. Or if we don't want to, we want to throw down some tempo on the bard. We get the Frozen Crusher out there. If we get some Choose One synergy, we can start up Fandral if we have a good enough ward state to where like we think he's safe behind the Tar Creeper still. Ooh, Idra. Beater tied either. Hmm. Do I do this and go for poisonous or plus attack? 
Or do I just do Calamos? What is the way to get the Calamos out of this situation? Quick, quick, quick. I guess I do this, Frozen Crusher, and then Servant of Calamus. I won't have any twos to play with though, so I'm going to start to fall a little bit behind on the board. Mm. Let's go for it. I think I need the answer more than anything else. So Poisonous or the plus attack? There's Poisonous. We'll take it. Okay, so Servant isn't activated, so we have to play Frozen Crusher the turn before we want to activate Servant. But we can also Glutton a Susan Raging Worgen if we want to do that instead. Which is good against Swipe or Starfall because it leaves uh, Worgen activated. And you can two for one with the Hydra here, which is still pretty good for him. I was right all I guess we just leave the Hydra up. Offer him an 8-8 trade for it. Because that leaves this going, and this just got that for free. I can't resist turning down that. I think I have to do this to prevent that from being destroyed. The question is now if I just like hero power pass. I get hero power pass. I'm already ahead of card. So if I do this and he trades for it, it's actually okay because I'll still be ahead of the poisonous on the board, which is almost guaranteed to still be worth a card. So I should still be ahead. So I'm going to offer him the trade. I'm going to offer him a good trade. And the main reason why is because I want to enable myself to play Servant of Kalamos, which will further exacerbate the lead I have over him. Okay, that's fine. He does have a somewhat favorable trade into Calamus. But we can always tap and just take the seven one time, so. Yeah, Alright, took the trade. As anticipated. Wanna play Servant here? Oh, Blaze Crusher! Blaze Crusher! I kind of fuse those two because I want both of them. <laughs> Blaze Crusher! <laughs> Frozen Crusher or Blaze Caller? I have to play Blaze Caller next turn if I pick it. But I'm kind of okay with that. Whereas this is good no matter what. And I already have a Blaze Caller in deck. So maybe it's better to pick Crusher and then sort of play my other cards and then use Crusher as Enabler. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go that route. I'll go that route. I think there's a little bit more guaranteed value off it, so... Do this and save the hero power mana, but... Missed the one damage, whatever. I'm thinking better about not letting myself rope when I'm streaming that. <laughs> I didn't get too caught up in analyzing the exact optimal situation because of the like, all the lights are on me, oh, I'm on stream, must play perfectly. She's not gonna activate. Oh wow, face, okay. 
Hmm, Mokola, huh? Okay. If I tap, I take some damage. But I can curve with both these guys. And have board. Or I could play Frozen Crusher. I might just play Frozen Crusher here, actually. Just to make sure I have something huge on the bard. I doubt it is a time cost, but... Just for posterity. I mean, 3-3 three, three into 4-6 is pretty good anyway, so... Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and do this. It's a little heavy on the damage to our face, but we do have a... Mistress of Mixtures in hand. And we have a lot of time in the deck. We have two Ancient of Wars, we have a Druid of the Claw, we have Stub Stubborn Gastropod in there somewhere. I think we'll be okay. And theoretically, two Nesting Rock. We definitely don't want to take any more damage, though. Because if we get our Bitter Tide Hydra, that card's going to become unplayable, so... we got to be a little careful here. Oh, face, okay. That order, wow. <laughs> I think it's correct not to attack here. That's nice, that's very nice. Um, I'm gonna go like this. For the value! Is it still correct to not attack? Probably not. He's so low now that it's it's probably worth putting the pressure on him. And it's like, okay, he really wants to deal with Fandral too, because he doesn't know if I've got other choose ones in my hand. So yeah, that's going to distract him. He might have been thinking, like, try and push face with some of that Starfall damage. And with a, uh, I think this is Raging Morgan, right? Twisted Morgan. So... Having Fandral eat the 5 damage after already giving us uh, a free, like, 4 damage to face there. Not bad. Pretty good Fandral. Hmm. I'll take it. I'll take it. And it kind of negates, like, the majority of his turn this turn. Oh, okay. Interesting. Doing that to, like, anticipate me going into that, I guess. Oh, and we also have the Ancient of Blossoms for Taunt, so we're actually really good on that. So this is Frozen. Which is unfortunate, but that's okay. Definitely don't want to give him bananas with this guy out. Uh, I think I do want to tap to start taking that down with my face. I could also do this. I'm going to do this regardless, I think. I'm going to do this guy regardless as well. Which does give him a little bit of health, but it also allows me to aggressively use face here. So I shall. I think I'll go ahead and throw down one more Gluttonous Ooze. Because, if I don't want to swing face and finish this off with my uh, last bit of damage, I might need to use a 3-3 three -three to do it. But if I don't want to activate Raging Organ on that for whatever reason, it gives me a little bit of extra flexibility to send the ooze in to finish it off instead. That's it. Five five charge is pretty good, man. Less so because of anything like typically arena related, and more just like you get to control the trading, and controlling the trading is really nice. Really lets you optimize some stuff. Oh, it's too bad I don't have swipe, man. Really too bad. Oh. Well. What are you gonna do? Also unfortunate. Um, I can do that. Alternatives. I could go there, there, there. Seems bad. Mm. 
I mean, I can taunt up with this guy in rage. So maybe that's the right play. And then the think tank here. So we don't quite have lethal. If this were activated, we would, but... Wait, do we have lethal? Oh no, I'm silly. We have lethal, of course. Because that, that gets enraged, so we get the one fury. Well played! Woo! Got him! <laughs> Very well! Complete the quest. Very good. Going on those two wins, baby. I like it. Uh oh. You dropping frames over here? No, looks like we're doing good. Probably just my laptop chugging. I really gotta get this buff cleaned up. Alright. Throw it all back to the deck with you. Okay, that's much better. I think we'll do this. Because there is the long neck that we can get as a three jump. Oh, new board. Oh, different sigil. Okay. Fire and ice. Is it only fire and ice? I'll deal with this board momentarily. <laughs> hmm. Do I play the little rock pool hunter? That might be a little too slow here. Two turns to tap in. Seems a little slow. Mm. I always tap next turn too. I think I'll do this because if he hero powers to get his value, that means I can hero power next turn and we'll both be sort of on even footing. And if he doesn't, if he does something like that, it means he has to trade in with both of those. Which is fine, because then that one for one. And sure, that seems like a tough card to deal with on an empty bard, but I'm just going to do this. Just give him the beetleberries. Oh, 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 that's not actually that great for us. It's a five, seven mana, five, seven. Okay, the frost bolt kind of hurts. That's okay, we can just play a gastropod. Theoretically, that was his removal spell, so. Used on a basic 2 2. What is going on up here? This hand better move or something. Come on. Is it frozen in there? Is there a way I can make that hand like come out and like do something badass? Maybe that's like spikes. Who knows? Oh. Oh. Can't tap on that while it's happening. Oh shit, that's. That comes off. That's the teeth. Okay, that's pretty dope. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. Okay, what's going on in this game? <laughs> okay, we'll do this. Uh, hmm. I could just as easily take that out with it, though. So I want to leave him with target here. Hmm. Let's just sort of start an elemental chain, too. Can I have four to wait another turn? Am I just play Nesting Rock here? No, I think I kind of have to do this. It sucks. I won't be able to activate Blaze Caller for a little while, but... Alas, I think it's the hand I've been dealt. He gets some value, but I think I have thicker cards in my hand than he does. So, I'll just play the, the, uh, the Thunder Lizard. I'm gonna do a blossom, that's a good one for him. It's actually a really good one for him, given the state of the board. 
Oh, if only I could play you, you'd be such a good card right now. <laughs> That's okay. So let's get the adaptation. Remember, I'm going to get the 3 5 on the bar. Health or stealth? Health or stealth? I think probably health is more important. Because it does mean you could swing into that, too. And what's really good is the Tar Creeper, tar creeper enables us to Blaze Caller next turn. To Blaze Caller! <laughs> Alright. What else can I do here? Oh, shit. More of that same stuff. Let's see now that I've cleared everything out that is doing anything fancy here. If I do this wall, that's happening. Hmm. I'm gonna try and time that to do those both at the same time. Um, do I want to take this out? I mean, I feel like I'm obligated to because that's the way to use this damage right now, so I guess I will. And it actually doesn't, now that I look at it. So I won't have enough for hero power. Shit! Oh my god, I won't have enough for hero power. That's so brutal. Man, that sucks. Damn. I mean, that's a good one to leave alive. So there's that, but... Brutal! Uh, I can't really nest in Rocky there, because it won't give... It won't get taunt. Oh god, do I just pass up on the blaze caller, man? Uh, I guess I have to. I mean, I don't have to, but I guess I'm going to. Mm, I can't. I can't do it. Do it like this. Feels really gross to waste four damage like that, but... Ah, uh, you know. Sometimes it happens. Face! Double face?! What? What? Is he trying to burn me up? Oh, Lyra, okay. That's just not gonna happen. Oh, that's too bad I didn't know I was gonna get him. Oh. Hmm. Well, I gotta deal with Lyra. I guess I'll play with this. So it continues to overload his uh, ability to play minions. I mean, that, I guess that plays around Meteor. But I actually should have placed it here. I was trying to play around Meteor there, but then I realized this is a like optimal sort of placing for him, and he's probably going to swing that regardless. So I think this is actually wrong. I should have placed that here. I guess it wouldn't have mattered though. Anywhere I placed a taunt, if he was going to trade first. Oh darn! Oh my God, the value! Wow. Well, I can get my elemental chain going. And curve out, so that's pretty good. As much as I'd like to keep him overloaded on minions. More important to take that out, prevent the 3 8 from dying for free. Definitely don't want my ancient to go away. Oh, darn. Excuse me. Huh. The secret. So many secrets. Oh, brutal. Um, what do you do about this? We could discover five. It's the whole thing. We could discover fire plume. I don't want to. Uh, I mean, I'm not saving this for any elementals to enable, but what if I discover one that requires enabling and I don't want to play it next turn? I don't know, I think I gotta do this. I just have to, to check for Mirror Entity. I can't give him a 4 5, it'd be too good. Dark Reaper's pretty good. Ooh. And I made a 510 though. Uh, it has taunt. Mm, this is this. I'd rather get this. Honestly. 
This is pretty dangerous. But he's tempted to do a value trade here with the 2-3 into the 1-2, which will allow me to get my taunts going. And I have a lot of taunts in this deck. I do. Alright, the Pyroblast. Darn. I was probably dead anyway, though. The 5 could probably break through the Tark Reaper and get the 2 in there. Yeah. Darn Pyroblast, man. Ah, Pyroblast! Ah, you will be the death of me! Well, you were. <laughs> no. Well, we're on the bubble. We gotta get up to at least four wins, man. If we don't get to at least four wins, we'll feel real bad. I must protect the wild. Hmm, a forager. That's a good one. Okay, two foragers, not bad. Not the best, but not the worst. Certainly could have worse hands here. Like that card, that card's uh... I don't remember what this was up against, but I probably shouldn't have picked that one. Okay, that's really good. Yes. Molten, huh? Okay. Interesting. We are up against Hunter, so he will enable that eventually for us. Okay. Being shot. Wait, did he just... Oh. Just turn two. Okay. It's fine. I'm gonna save this to try and destroy the weapon. Get some value there. Let's see what we get out of the Beetleberries. Ooh, Anomalous. That could be handy. That could be handy. We'll see. We are a very board-oriented deck ourselves, so uh, it might be a little anti-synergy, but might be okay. We might be in a situation at some point where we need to blow up the board. See what we can do. El Negro. <laughs> Show me what you got. All right. Do I play this? I can't play that because I can't deal with the 4 3 then and then it just dies for free. It's alright, I guess this is the turn where I eat a little bit of uh, tempo here. Oh god, I might even have to play Thigra next turn. And in so doing. I shall begin enabling the Molten Giant! It's all planned, you see. Ah, yeah, yes. uh, this is a pretty good end to snipe, too, so that's not bad. Animal Companion, yeah. Alright, yeah, that's pretty good in snipe. Which is what I'm immediately concerned about. Okay, that's snipe. Oh, it was snipe. Oh, no, it was cash. Okay, that's fine. Even cash is fine. It's, it's just plus two, plus two, you know. That minion has stealth. You can't target it. Oh, man. Hidden cash on that, though, sucks for us. Yeah, we're getting there. Almost playable. This is nice. Uh, hmm. Let me play a bitter tide here. Again, enable that molten giant. He's very incentivized to... Send the 3-7 uh, into the 5-1. I don't really have a way to deal 2 damage unless if I top deck, like, um, Fire Plume, but, I mean, you know, there's that. So we'll survive with 1 health again. Living a little bit of life on the edge here, but, uh, you know. You know how we do. You can also Starfire that. It's an ambitious play. I think I shall take it. I'm not really too concerned about that Murloc. I'd rather get some face damage in. I am mean, a little concerned about him going to my face, but it's like, you know, Hydra isn't the best one to like preserve my health. 
That's fine. Alright, that's fine. So we wound up the tree anyway. Like, theoretically, we could have uh, defended ourselves uh, for one additional hit point there. But we miss, we miss out on uh, 8 face damage. I'll trade one hit point for 8 face. Um, I think we just do this. I feel so bad though. I think we have to do this so we can get the three out the same turn as well and really start to push this board state into our favor. It does mean we can't like tap this turn, but I don't think it's actually going to be necessary to tap because we have so many taunts. Like the only way he's gonna kill us is from that hero power, so tapping will matter in that instance, but if we can just own this board, I think we'll actually be okay here. And like, one more tap and this is free, so... Hmm. So I could tap and take that guy out. I don't know that that's the right play. I think this is certainly correct. This is good as well. Mm, I guess we just tap and go face. Load up the board and threaten him, you know? Because, like, sure, you can take out one of those taunts, but he can't take out both of them. And, like, that's a thick enough board to where it's okay. Like, it won't, it won't be able to kill him next turn, but it, we're awfully close, you know? If he didn't remove anything, we have lethal, but he's definitely going to remove something. I think probably 4 damage is what's going away. Which means, technically, we'd still have a way to... Oh, that's really good. Wow. Wow. What a good play for him. That's unfortunate. Well, there goes our uh, lethal with Fire Plume Phoenix, unfortunately. Man, he just unloaded the tempo that turn. That sucks for us. Ah, Nestor Knock, that's a good one. Any sort of taunts are good for us, but we actually uh, need to start pushing his face. Mm. He has 12 on board, which technically isn't enough to punch through our face. Yet. Uh, let's think of it this way. 8 plus this is 12 plus this is 15. And if I tap this turn, he's at 16. So this still threatens lethal next turn. Even though I'm not really hitting face with anything significant yet. But it also gives me the security of a taunt. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. So we should be able to win here. It all depends on what he top decks. He's at the mercy of the top deck. Okay, knife choker. Nice. There we go. Close. That was a close one, man. I felt the pressure upon me. Which is definitely the risk we were talking about during the draft of drafting a deck this heavy. Hunters, any sort of like low curve class. I mean, look at his curve. Pretty low. It was pretty low. So it was a little risky. But we made we managed to make our way through. With that many taunts in the deck, we had consistently a way to remain like... Forcing his minions to deal with Cord rather than hitting my face. And that's all we needed. Versus Uther. I will fight with honor. 
Joey the Paladin. Alright, Joey. You are standing between me and the four wind threshold, Joey. I hate to tell you, but I cannot lose yet. We must win ourselves at least one more game. We do not necessarily demand the value, but we will demand our pride. Okay, nice. Nice and slow. Nice and slow, baby. Alright, let's see what we got here. Probably Tar Creeper next turn. Kinda sucks, because we won't be able to count this, but I definitely don't want to throw down Uzi. Oh, unless he does something silly like that. A way to enable Raging War, can you say? Yes, please. I'm not really afraid of the spell power. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's some targeted damage I should be afraid of, but I think not. This allows me to go Tar Creeper, Servant of Calamus, which is pretty good. And hopefully this Worgen can two for one. That would be sick. Like if we can actually get the Geomancer taken care of, and then start hitting face behind the Tar Creeper. Woo! Maybe that might be enough to just win us the game. Even if it's only for one turn. One cycle that is enough. Yeah, Egg Mapper, nice. Yes, yeah, so we're definitely not popping that shit. You go ahead and deal with the top, my friend. Woo, baby! Let's see what he does. <laughs> Might have a way to deal with it. Consecration would actually be okay here. Discover a card. He's going to have a lot of 1-1 one -one tokens on the board. That is going to be a pain to deal with. Because unfortunately this doesn't have taunt. And I can't break the elemental chain. I need to discover something off this. I mean, he could not pop the egg napper. Okay, he's got a couple three drops in hand. Okay. That's not so bad, because it does eat his uh, Aldor, and this is a lot better into an Aldor than it would have otherwise been, so. I think it's fine. Uh, do we want to count this again next turn? Probably. Well, we, we might want to do the Frozen Crusher instead, but we can still chain if we do that, so that's probably what we'll do. Definitely get this off first. Do I want to trade? He does have a way to buff stuff because he's Paladin, but like, he has so much stuff, I can't really help help that, you know. And he's probably going to trade into the Tar Creeper and then take out the Raging Morgan with his 1-1s, so I'll just let him do the trades, you know. We could be punished by a buff. Again, Consecration does hurt. But even if he has Consecration, it's like he only has three one ones on the board. Eh, whatever. Not that big a deal. I would think he would take out the Raging Warrior, because it's possible I have buffs. I am Druid. I do have some buffs. And like... It has Wind Fury, so any buff is like super threatening. So, I mean, he's, he might be bold and leave it up. And he would be right to, but it's very risky. I don't think it's objectively the correct play, just given my hand it happens to be in this instance. He's under pressure, baby! What's he gonna do? Joey! Joey, you gotta tell me what you're gonna do, man! Show me what you got! What is that card on the far left? Alright, give me a minute. Huh. Interesting choice. Hmm. I kinda wanna 
tap this turn. Oh, look left. I think you might be like a last bit of tempo at the end. Like I'm gonna try and hold this as long as possible. So I think those bananas are too too much utility with the kind of hand he's gonna have with even more playing elementals. Um I feel like a tap is required this turn for the value. So that kind of sucks. But uh I mean this is a really, really slow way to play it. But this gives me like I think a little bit of an edge on him, value-wise. Oh, ho, ho, Sherison! Now, the, okay, the problem is my hand is way too heavy to actually activate this guy. Oh, could I even do it? Maybe with Firefly? Oh, shitty Smuggler's Run. Oh, no. Oh, no, not the Smuggler's Run. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Time to get the taunt. Wow, our big guys might might not be enough to chew through all this smallest run value here. Might be unfortunate for us. Yeah. Yeah, I mean I'm gonna try and save. I'll I'll use this if he plays a weapon. Otherwise I'm just gonna save it. Um, as a piece of the four card combo to get some shares in value. Because if I can get this to pop up once, it's certainly worth it. I can't do it more than once. But like, if I get a Firefly and a two drop, you know, I can maybe make that work. Play him, let him go dormant, and then like, Firefly, Firefly, a two drop, a three drop. It's possible. Firefly is kind of the key piece of that, though. Oh! Ouch. Uproot with pump. Not good. I do have a little bit of more fuel there, so I just gotta weather the storm here, honestly. If I can weather the storm, we'll do alright. Should be above value. Oh, okay. Well, we're getting rid of that shit. Oh, the value! Oh my god, look at the value! Oh my god, it's so sick. Alright, that's unfortunate because this is a piece of the combo for him, but uh, I can't, I can't not just take a free card. And then I could also starfall that. Oh man. Oh man. I think I play Shares in this turn though. Because this is 5 damage on board. So if he doesn't trade with Shares in, he doesn't have any better place to go than face. He's like, what does that card do? What the hell? Joey! Joey! Come on, Joey! Come on! Let me get the value! And ironically, we might end up, oh, oh, ouch. Uh, what might end up uh, playing into this is we might use Servant of Calamus to discover uh, a Firefly, and then that will activate our Shurizen. Man, this is tough. This one's a toughie. This one is a toughie. Even though I have the Murloc in hand, I think I'm just going to play this as a 5-4 this turn, so I can Starfall and still get this guy developed on the Bard. Kind of sucks, but... Alas, it has to be done! I don't think there's any good alternatives. Unfortunately.
No, I'll do it like that. Because then the board is kind of set to equalize, and sure I'll be like behind in that sense, but I can play, I can cheat and play a 6 mana 8-8. Eight, eight. I can like kind of cheat and play King Mukla. And maybe that will get me? He still has two buff cards. Ah, uh, we're ahead in cards, but the two cards are buffed on his side, and like this gives him buffs. So, eh, it's debatable. On value, again, I really do think I can get him with Servant of Kalamos. Man, that Galactic Crawler would have been nice. Oh, he's going face. Well, that seems wrong. All of it? He didn't go face, but okay, okay. At least we came back down to Earth. Jesus. Oh, the elemental chain is time. Yes, yeah, The question is, can I afford to play this slow enough to not play the Rock Bull Hunter? I think the answer is no. I'm definitely tapping no matter what. Question is, what do I do next turn, right? So this gives me five damage. I'm definitely doing Blaze Caller first, just because I need to get control of this board. Do I really need the value of getting Chairs in? With this 2-3, or do I just need 2-3 on the board? What does a 2-3 on the board do for me, though? Like, this goes here. He maybe, like, gets value killing it for free. I guess I'll keep it. It's It heals me for 4 or 3. 2 mana heal for 4 or 3. Eh, that doesn't sound that good. Doesn't seem worth it. Alright, play your last buff card, Joey. There's my target. Oh shit, I gotta deal with his fucking... Oh man. Wow, that's actually really good for him. Because the taunt is in the way, so I can't, like, take the buff off it so I can't kill it. <laughs> okay. There's my low drop man. I think we do this. But the question is, do we take out Tar Creeper? I don't think so. I think we have to take out the pirate, because he's basically a 5-5, five five, or 5-4. I'd like to take out the Corsair, that's actually 5-4, but I think I have to take him out. Well, he's actually a 5-6, now that I think about it, because he has a buff. God, that'd be so good to take him out, I just can't. Ah, that's so brutal. So brutal! Oh. Luckily we got taunts for days, so like we can throw this guy down. It'd be really risky not to play Gastropod here, so I think I have to. I'm just gonna give up on the dream of the Sherizen value. I really need that taunt. And as long as we don't have low drops. Again, we have Firefly in the deck somewhere, so. Oh man. So many little ones. Oh my god, wow. Spectacular. Send the crane home. Okay, poisonous. That doesn't threaten me as much, ironically, even though I'm a deck of big men. It doesn't threaten me as much because... Oh shit, can this one, that one attack? Oh no. Fuck, he's gonna kill my blaze caller, isn't he? No, that actually annihilates my soul. Yeah. Oh, please, kill the one that's frozen. Yeah, okay. Alright. We're in it. We're still in it. We're still in it. Oh, man. Oh, man, the Sherizen value is on its way. I gotta do this, because other... Well, no, it's not. Otherwise, I won't get it. Sherizen doesn't come with charge, though. I'm gonna do this. Because Charizard doesn't come in with charge. Oh man, I'm gonna take this. Even though I can't play this turn. And I can't play this, I'm too low. Um, can I actually activate him this turn? I can, can't I? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that! That seems good! It's like the perfect middle ground of like being a little risky. 
but also like giving me a little bit of something something here. So I am facing down a whole bunch of poisonous things, so it's like my board is- Oh no, the Vine Cleaver. Okay, we're probably dead. There's probably nothing we can do here. We need like the best taunt ever because like we can't play Hydra anymore. And we have to deal with all these poisonous things. Okay, there goes one. There goes Anaza. Okay, good. Get rid of another poisonous. We actually have a lot of taunts in the deck, so that's really good to see that go away. Really happy about that. Keep trading. Keep trading on the board. No, don't go face. No. Okay. All right, whatever. That's fine. Okay, you treated with that. That's fine. Oh, man. I think I have to Blossoms. Means this won't be activatable anymore. I think I have to. Alas, I believe it must be done. I think I, I think I can't. I think if I do that, I lose. Pushing the envelope, as always. Let's see if we can get away with it this time. What's his card? What is it, Joey? What's card on turn 13? What, what do you got for me? An 8-drop? Oh! Oh, the little friend. Oh, no. Hello. Oh, man. Oh, disaster. Man. I can't activate the taunt this turn. Shit. Do I need that extra point of health? Probably need every point of health I can get. Ah, Joey! Joey! Your vine cleaver is too good! No! Oh, man. Okay, hold on. How do we get out of this? There's got to be a way I can puzzle my way out of this. So this clears the board. And then I can enable that taunt next turn. Maybe there's a way. Maybe there's yet a way. Feel the burn. The thing is I, I could play Mookla this turn. And I think I will. Even though it lets him buff some stuff. It doesn't give him a way to buff anything out of range of the three. So I think I'm going to do it. I think I have to tap every turn. And this keeps the three eight alive as a three one. With taunt. So it's okay. It's okay. It's okay! It's alright! <laughs> I think it's okay. I think it's okay. I'm just very scared. I'm quite scared. I don't think I ever get to play Bitter Tide Hydra, and that's why I'm like conceding. That's okay for me. I can deal with that. Please trade everything into that, and then let me get the 6 3 with a 3 1. Swing, yes! Yes! More! More! Swing! Do it! Okay, he's just setting it to six. Okay. <laughs> that makes more sense. I was I was really confused there. What the hell was going on? Um, alright. So I think we can move though because we're gonna get this to be a taunt. And I'm gonna swing into a guy, not his face. Or not uh, this. So we'll get a little extra value out of that. So he'll have eleven on board. And that'll be 5 plus 7 is 12 taunt. So he'll break through it, but only with 2. And I think, yeah, I have to do this. And I'm going to limit him, actually, even more than I thought, because uh, I'm going to take out both the 1-1s. One so it is possible that... 
Uh, Worgen, I think is this called? Isn't this a Worgen? No, it's a Greaser. Worgen Greaser, okay. Um, I think he's gonna become a problem, but I think I can handle that. I'm gonna five minutes, six. That's not so bad for me. It really sucks that, like, I can't kind of handle that, but. You know. Okay, exact trade. That's fine. That's probably the best scenario for us. He's gonna exact trade there, too. Fuck, man. Am I gonna have to play Bitter Tide Hydra? Oh my god, I'm gonna have to play Bitter Tide to do the nesting rock. Oh man, I need something good off the top, man. I need something good off the top. I can't play Bitter Tide, man. I can't do it! It's too spooky! Don't make me! Don't make me do it! Joey! What are you doing to me? Don't make me play it! Okay. Oh, okay. Alright. Question is, do I want to tap? I think the answer is no. Just gotta ask I'm just asking questions here. I'm just asking questions. I mean, what is a 4-6 on this board, though? I might as well make that charge and take out a 6-6. Six, six. Like, I can squeeze some value out of taking out the buffed one, but... It actually would have behooved me if he had banana just the Frostwolf Four Lord. Hmm. Alright, let's do it. I think this is good enough. I think we'll stabilize, and we'll have Hydra go face. We'll play Hydra on the board and risk, like, him having a way to hit it twice. God, if he has uh, Avenging Arrows, whatever that's called. <gasps> no! No! No, the Titans! No! Okay, Taunt? Okay, we're not dead yet. You would have been better before I played the spell. Okay, we're not dead yet. We need the Ancient of War, man. We need the Ancient of War. Tortolan Forager might help us out. Friendly Bartender won't save us, as, as nice a guy as he is. Oh, man, we need that Ancient of War. Oh! Tiger's not going to do it. Dude. No, he beat us with the legendary. I don't feel like we played our legendaries that often. This they weren't insane legendaries, I guess. Even though we got two of them, they weren't super insane. Fandral's pretty good, but uh, I don't know. Man, that hurts my soul. A, a double legendary deck goes three wins. Ow, ow. Brutal, man. Brutal. That's almost equivalent value. Man, brutal. Brutal! Ah, golden dust. Go ahead and clean that out right now. Come on. Let me get to Valley Man. Ah, this one. No! There we go. Become dust. The rest of you as well. Building up that dust for the next expansion. I'm excited. I am excited. Oh, not play. No, no, no. Back to the arena. To the arena. Yes. Oh, see, mage pick a mage. Especially over warrior and hunter. Ah, um, I think this is better independently. Everything needs to be activated. I think elementals are far more common. And this will activate other elementals, so I think we go Steam Surger. Zubot, probably. Well. I mean, this hedges against not being able to get Battlecry value, which I think is probably the right call, so we'll, we'll go ahead and do that. 
take the crossbow. Chemist, you say? Spellbreaker's really good. I like Spellbreaker a lot. Um, random potion is not too bad, though. Greater healing potion always hurts, but, uh... I don't know. This this could get us something good. Could get us dragon fire. Could get us fell fire. I think there's one from mage that it gets right. The three mana deal two to everything. I think as well. I mean, this is a little bit better consistently, but I'm gonna go for this. I think this is a little bit higher value overall, so we'll go for that. Mages tend to be. Or the value. Ooh, second Frostbolt or AI. Hmm. Second Frostbolt or AI. I'm gonna go second Frostbolt. Eh, I'm gonna take the Rack tier over that. Hey, nice, we got our Spellbreaker. Sack! Ah, it's sack! Uh, I'll take the three drop over the garbage. Mm, take the five drop over the garbage. Doctor Three, welcome to the deck. Oh, those are all really good. I like this, but I also want that. Let me discover a card. Take the Tar Creeper, Creeper Creeper. Oh my God, another Glyph. But this card's really good. This card has fucked me up a couple times in Arena. I think this card is actually insane. It's a 7-7 seven, seven charge. That's charge. That's pretty good, man. That's pretty fucking good. What am I going to glyph that's so much better than that? I'm actually going to take this. Especially since I already have one primordial glyph. I'm going for it, man. Oh, I mean, this is at worst, like, equivalent to that, probably. Like, the Wind Fury is not going to go off, and this might get something relevant. Eh, it might be useful. This is probably better though. He does not enable Steam Surger as well, but I can kind of control it with my hero power and tap it for the ping. I'll you know, take the Bomber. Bomb with this. And it looks like we have a lot of twos, but we gotta remember those are two Frost Bolts and a Glyph in there, so we really need to pick up some two drops. Uh, Red Mana Worm, not so bad in Mage, especially with two, with one Glyph. Probably better than Flame Geyser since I already have two Frost Bolts. I'm gonna take this. Be ambitious. Um, two man, two three, or cult apothecary. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and take the early game card. Ooh, wasp. Spicy. Uh, I think I'll take the four drop though. Four drop taunt. Stealth Poisonous is really good, but I kind of I kind of want to get a little taunt in my deck here. Mm, I don't have any secrets. Maybe this is okay to pick. Double Sore Egg. Just because everything that's up against is pretty bad. I mean, 5 mana 3-6 isn't totally terrible. It's just really bad. <laughs> you get any stats, it's 1 mana over Costa. That's not insanely bad. Whereas Devil Sword, I might never pop. Like, I can silence it. <laughs> um, I mean, I guess I could ping it down myself over the course of three turns. And Mad Bomber. Eh. It does enable Nesting Rock, too. There is that. I'm gonna style. I'm gonna style and pick the egg. I'm going for style points here. We have two Frost Bolts. Also, I just think that's the best card. Uh, second Volatile, second Racketeer. Hello. Um, I think we'll take the Volatile. See any more early game? Good, I'm glad we did that, because here's another Racketeer. Hey, there's a good one. Monty Berserker that we can enable. And third Frostbolt, I think we'll take over the 4-4. Four, four, the 4. We have three 4 drops. Four 4 drops. That's not so bad. Take another Frostbolt. Wouldn't mind picking up, yeah, some thicker stuff though. Ah, 6 mana, 5 5. 
Is it worth paying two extra mana for plus one, plus one? Definitely not taking another one of these guys. You must be out your head if you think I'm selecting one. Um, I guess I go like this. Just to get another four drop in there. Yeah, probably fine. We're not lacking AoE. This isn't that significant of AoE. I don't have that many minions on the board. But this is actually the way to enable the egg, so I'm actually going to take this. And hopefully just be able to play with value. Uh, I've already got too many of the Volatile Elementals, I think, so I'll just take the Arcane Intellect. I mean, I could take 10 of both Mazoth as a little bit of soft AoE. I think draw two cards is probably more relevant. Especially since I've got a pretty low looking curve. So, hey, there's some better AoE. I'll also take Abomination, I can also go to Nair Drake. I think I'll take the AoE. Get a little bit of AoE to finish it off. I'm feeling okay about this deck. Feeling okay about it. Um, that's pretty good cards like Primordial Glyph, Charge Devil Sore. Got a couple of uh, big time Racketeers in there, which is pretty good. A Spellbreaker, which has a lot of utility value. Tar Creeper, good. We do have Doctor 3 as well. Kind of requires us to have an insane start, but, you know, not impossible. We have one, two, three, okay, not counting the one we have. We have one, two, kind of three, four, five, six cards that we could draw that are arguably better than Zubat. So we're trying to get River Crocolis for it, I guess. Is that really the only thing? River Proclus, a beast there. This will summon a dragon. Mm. So risky. I think we just keep it. I think it's too risky. I don't think I throw back the three. I think I just take the curve. Hello. Okay, we got options. Never bad to have options. I think I'll do a money. Just because I have, again, options, I can enable it with a ping. I can play Mad Bomber to enable it as well. Kind of roll the dice on that, but probably will work out. Squiddy the Paladin! Alright, Squiddy! Show me what you got with this coin! Okay. Yeah, I think I'll bomber here. Okay, well, I didn't kill myself. Good. Very good. Ah, I think I'll go face here. I think he's obligated to trade. Since it got enabled, I'll go face. And he doesn't have coins, so there's no real way for him to punish. Yeah, that top one kind of hurt. Not a bunch of that's whatever. Sucks and all, but you know, whatever. Mm, I guess we won for one now with a Frost Bolt. I have, like, some heaviness in hand already, and I have, like, fuel, so. I think this is okay. Plus, I got two more Frost Bolts in the deck? Yeah. So. It's likely that I get some way to deal with stuff. And like I if it's board stuff I have a problem with, I can always uh volatile elemental and ping it. So we actually have a lot of ways to deal some damage to the board. To the board! Yeah, that kinda sucks for us. Does mean we get to AI this turn though, because he's probably Okay. That gives us a good AI target. We could have glyph, but uh Maybe we'll just draw. Hmm, there's our other frost bolts. Fortunately, we can't keep everything alive here, so I think we'll just do this. So we're kind of back to square one here. After he uses the coin, now he has. Oh no! The adapt! 
Uh oh. No plus health. Oh, the divine shield. Damn. Alright. Oh, that's fine. I'm gonna do this. Redemption? No, okay. I'm gonna ping. I'll take the five damage one time and I'll ping him next turn. It's fine. And then I can glyph and have a better idea of what I'm looking for with glyph. Okay, he's overloading my hero power and the daring reporter. That's fine. Fested Torin, not so bad. In fact, I think I'll do that over the 3 3. Could be Repentance, which would suck, but... Okay, it's fine. Alright. Plowing our way back in with a little bit of value. So that's going to be a 5-5, five five, so that means I'll have to throw a Frostbolt at it. But the 2-2 two two will hang around and eat through the... Dude. Oh, Blessing of King. Shoot. Okay. I'm going to just throw both my Frostbolts at him. And glyph as well. Oh man. We're even uh, do this instead. Might be a little efficient. Uh, I kind of want to glyph though. It puts me at so much mana that I can't uh, properly glyph as well. So I'm going to glyph for the tempo here. Ooh, flame strike. I mean, this is like insane. There's no reason we should do that. Flame Strike looks pretty good here, though. I think I'll do it! Bye, George, I'll do it. Yeah. Felt nice. Okay, so we're theoretically even on value, but he has two Flame Elementals in hand, so we should be able to out-edge him in value, especially since that was a very low-tempo card that's not high in value. And we can just immediately punish him with Charge Double Soar. Or we could do something a little slower, and I think I will, because that's probably Noble Sacrifice. I doubt he would pick Eye for an Eye. Because we gotta remember, this was discovered with Hydrologist, so, like, can you really choose an eye for an eye over anything else? I don't think you would ever pick that in Arena. I would never pick eye for an eye. So it's almost guaranteed to be Noble Sack. Wow, okay. It's pretty brutal. Um, so I definitely want that to go in there and finish it off with the Frostbolt. So I'll start like this to take out the Noble Sacrifice. Good. Oh, this is a beast in the unit. Ah, very nice. I'll wait till it pops so I can give one of the Murlocs 1-1 one, one, and also give Doctor 3 1-1. One, one. That's my plan. Alright. So we will get to go like that, but eh, it's okay. It's not the worst for us. We're slowly starting to squeeze the value here. We've, we've stabilized the board. We've gained a little bit of a foot up. He still has, like, the play advantage on us. Like, this is his turn to be proactive, and all we'll have sort of hanging around is this 5-5. Five, five. All right, now we do that. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I got a couple ways I can do this thing. So I don't have to just freeze it to keep it alive. All right, well, let's start with this. Let's get our value out of Zubot while we can here. Okay. Hmm. So I can't clear all of it, so I guess I will. Do I have to ping if I do that? Yes, I do. I'm okay with that. I will do this. 
I'd rather not have Murlocs on the board given the option, just in case there's some hungry crab action going on. <laughs> Very unlikely in arena, but we'll see. Never hurts to be safe. It's like I miss a little bit of face damage there, but he has way to heal, ways to heal, ways to buff, so it's a little risky against Paladin to try and do something. Aggressive like that. Hmm. First, we look what we get here. Then we go face every time with the throwing fury. Okay, great. Got it, hundred percent of the time. <laughs> um. I mean, he'll be able to kill the tar creeper, but I think I have to be okay with that. I just gotta let that be what it is. Cause I got Doctor 3 going, you know? It's like... It's certainly worth it at this point. Hmm, stealth or plus one, plus one? I think probably plus one, plus one. Now we'll go ahead and do this. Flood the bard here! He already has one Consecration, so I think I'm a little bit safer flooding the board, and I think I just need to flood it to keep uh, Doctor 3 going. Fuck yeah, no, 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 the Consecration! Okay, well I played all this stuff to try and soak the damage. He actually probably shouldn't have played that. Oh, alright. I thought he was going to be able to... Oh no, he wouldn't have enough damage because that's still three. Yes, good. Alright, very well. Doctor Three, man. Vicious Fledgling. Vicious. Absolutely vicious. Pretty good, man. Cold star, alright. Do I throw that egg back with these many draws? Hmm. I do have a four. Fours aren't super easy for me to get. I could go two, three, four. It's just I have a really weak. I have a slow. I have a weaker two and a super weak three. Hmm. Now this doesn't die to consecration on its own, but I guess I'll do this. I'll keep it just in case I. Can't draw another three. Okay, Zubot, perfect. Perfect, because this becomes a three, four, Hello. which would be incredible. Nice. Well met. All right, what's he got? Oh, perfect, that means this is going to go off. A two mana, three, four, let's do it. Let's do it, let's go crazy. Let's go wild. <laughs> Nice. Alright, here's our value. He does give value out of the tap in return, but like we solidify the tempo turning to our side and we still have corn. Okay. Could take her out like that. Would much prefer Fireball. Unfortunately, no. I think I'll take Blizzard. Blizzard's probably gonna be good. Which actually means I could let her trade, and I could play Blizzard next turn. I would get really punished by a buff, though. How much does that 3 damage matter? Probably not very much. Going out Devil Story instead. Hmm. This is a tough turn. What to do? What to do? 
I mean, I can afford to do this, so I guess I will. It gives the tempo back to him, because he two for one with that card, but... You know, I respect it too much. We're even on value in hands, and I've got a thicker kind of curve, so... That sucks. Where's my weapon destruction? Shoot. I think I roll for this. I kind of want to throw a double sword egg out first when I roll, but... I think I just roll for this. Yeah, let's go for it. <clears throat> At least two. One more, one more, one more! One more! Oh, man! Not me! Bummer! One more on him! Alright, whatever. I'll play double sword egg. <clears throat> Let him get his value. They traded even anyway, so whatever. <coughs> oh man, he's gonna get a tap value. That sucks. If he goes face, I can actually get a good blizzard off though. Nice. Okay, that's good. <coughs> I think I do have to blizzard this turn. It really sucks, because I can't do anything with it. So I guess I'll just tap. Three five kind of sucks, but you know. <laughs> the, the golden animation on Snapchat is so funny. That's a problem. Is he still frozen? I don't think so, right? I think it ends? Yeah. Okay. I think this is probably worth doing. That's probably okay. If you have spells, that sucks. We do have a way to deal with it if, if he has spells to deal with our guy and still survives. Okay, boom clock. Fair enough. I mean, it is boom clock, you know, I, fair enough. <clears throat> oh, darn, no charge double sword. Very close. Uh -huh, look at her legs. Oh, that's so funny. She's having such a hard time carrying that bond. Or she's super scared. Like, her face looks like she's scared. But her, like, size of her body makes me think that bomb is just too heavy for her. Do I want to silence this to a 2-6? Probably not. It's probably not worth doing. Maybe just do the power play. Off curve a little bit. We could do this instead. Yeah, let's do that instead. I don't know. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that! Because <clears throat> her value puts Bomb Squad in ping range. And I can silence the Red Mana Worm and then send the little friend into it next turn. Oh! Police. Brutal. Well, hopefully that's just a 5 mana 5 5 this game. Ah! My, where's my weapon destruction? Come on. Alright, she's sending a Bomb Squad in there. Okay. Old Star! Going for the value. I'm just almost turning into a play. Um. Hmm. Tough. This is tough. Divine shield, I guess, is probably better. Just to slow down how quickly he's going to my face. I don't think the damage on it actually matters. Because he's going to use face. And I don't think I can turn to his face. So just soaking more of his damage into that is probably worth it. Okay. Show me what you got! Oh, no, don't show me that. Ugh. Ugh. No, don't show uh, I take it back. I take it back. I take it all back! I mean, 
immediately regret this decision. Alright, that was a nice silence target. Unfortunately, I can't stop this shit from happening, but... I am able to take out that poison. So, that's pretty good. I guess I do this. Take off the divine shield, just in case he has a buff. I think if he has a buff, I lose. I think if he has any good cards, I lose. <laughs> so I'm just so far behind in value. Okay, well that's a slow card. It started kind of quick, but the card itself is slow. So that's good for us. Mm. I mean, please trade. That'd be fantastic. It would be fabulous. Mm. I can't believe she would trade like that, too. That's wild. That's wild. That's wild. Oh, let me see what we get. Should I play her onto this board? Yeah, it's probably fine. Okay. I really don't like this card. But okay, I can freeze. Freeze the polluted hoarder. Pop this. Pop that. And if I play this, the best he can do is force the trigger on polluted hoarder. I'm gonna save this for even more value. Do I have any elementals I need to enable? No. Wall steam surger, yeah, that's another reason. That's a that's enough. So I really gotta squeeze out the value this turn. Or this game. And if I can enable steam surger, that means I might be able to pop double sword egg, so. Ooh. Okay. This is tough. That does not help. You're in a tough spot. I'm gonna go like this. Get our value. From here. Over right there. And we're very weak to AoE. That helps a little bit because that's a stickiness thing. And the AoE is less of a problem because we have Devil's Warrior, so. No. Okay. So we're facing down four cards with what will be two when we draw. So is this board equivalent to two cards? Theoretically, yes. Gin worse. Gin, gin less theoretically, yes. Even more practically, not. Okay, I can actually just eat the excess mana cost here. If I really want to. Since I can still play my whole hand, even with the excess mana cost, I think I'll start with Tark Reaper because I know I'm doing that. We can ping the Volatile and try and like guide the Volatile to go in here. I think that's actually good enough value. Don't touch the air. That might be good enough. This is tough. This is tough. Boy, would I like to be able to pop that egg. And rough, okay. I think that's the right choice to do it on the um, Tark Reaper and not face. Though that might imply he has a lot of burn. 
this deck or like charge. So it kind of puts me on alert to be a little careful. Unfortunately, any sort of cycle stuff is really good for him. I mean, where's my arcane intellect? You know, where's AI? Give me that AI. Oh, okay, I push him. It's a dead card. Well, it's not completely dead because I can play it later and pop the double sword egg. So anytime I get a chance to do an extra ping, it's not it's not like required for the board. I will go ahead and send it to the egg. I'm gonna do it like this. It should let me develop this. Question is, do I want to hang on for another elemental? I think the answer is no. I think I can't find. Well, if I fall behind on tempo, I can always volcanic potion. So I guess I actually will hold it. I'm gonna hold it. I'm going the value strat. It's not quite the flame strike, but it is what I got. <gasps> egg, 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 egg! Yes! Woo! Oh, baby! Amazing. Amazing. <coughs> oh, baby. That's good. What a good turn for us this was. <laughs> Even Doomsayer. Okay. Alright. Alright. Do I really think my board is more valuable than, so much more valuable than his, that I'm going to try and take out a Doomsayer? I mean, let's think of it this way. He has a 3-3, three, 4-a-nothing. Three, four, a nothing. So that's a 3-3, three, three, and that's a 0-5. So that's dead. Okay, that's a pretty good clear. I think I will do this and then throw that down. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, let's make sure we don't fuck this up though. So this is gonna go there. So I want all of these going here. Like this, and like that, and like this, and like that. And unfortunately I didn't get to enable this, but I think that was a good enough tempo to turn for us. No! Not the value weapon! Oh no. Arcade intellect off the top. Give it to me. Alright, I'll take Mesmero. Right. Good enough. Hit me with that conceive, cold star. Give it to me. They'll come back. No, the charge double sword. Oh my god. The heal prevents us from lethal. Ah! Oh my god, man. This is so brutal. Okay. He's on a three turn timer, and we can kill him with a Mind Berserker. Come on! Come on, Cold Star, give it to me! The victory is yes! <laughs> 2 and 0, baby! Mark it down! Oh, take it! Pretty good, pretty good. Jaina versus Jaina. You asked for it. Oh, 
It is on. Not two, three, four. I'll keep that. Maybe tries any coin tempo shenanigans. My bomber can really pay off. Not the strongest boy, but you know, good curve. I'll take it. Kept two cards. Not quite as intimidating as my full keep, but probably as good a quality. bomber go. Amazing. Unfortunately that kind of stuff is irrelevant, but most likely irrelevant. Okay, neither of us can interact with that, so I'll just go ahead and take that for free. this to get rid of that. Seems a little empty value. I kind of want to just throw this down. Yeah, let's leave the door open for the potential of a two for one here. Ah, oh, freezing. Don't be telling me. Come on. Come on, I'm giving drink the power, not the freezing potion. Come on. Yeah, I'm just gonna go face. I'm gonna leave the door open to a potential two for one trade. And I have fast answers, and like I have three damage stuff. Eh, whatever. Like these still basically trade, and mine's actually more relevant than his freezing enemy versus um no, it's too bad. Mm -hmm. I think we'll do this. Basically, it's me a free 3 2. Okay, that's worth it. Who made that potion work for us? Okay, that's fun. I'll go ahead and just get my double sword now. Oh, baby, and give it the buff, too. Fuck yeah. Boom! Yeah, that's a turn six. That's a turn six. We've got some answers ready if he asks us a big question. So. He does have us on value a little bit, but let's see what happens here. This is his turn. Firelands. Wow! Come on, man! Really? Amazing. Come on! That's the best roll, the highest possible roll, man. Come on, man. What's well, brutal is it's gonna cost a frostbolt too. Yeah. That hurts my soul. Set my soul on fire. Man, tough. That's toughy. Sacripar. Sacripar. Sacripier. <laughs> okay. I gotta be really efficient on my cards. 
So I'm actually just going to go like this. Like that. And go here. And then a frost bolt it, maybe? Because if he goes into the river croc, it's like a disaster. So I would frost bolt it. I was pinging next turn. Sucks that I don't get the frost bolt to point in his face, because that could have been a lethal option for me. Oh, that sucks. Yes! Yes! Okay, I'll take it! Damn you. Oh, man. He got himself some good value there. Oh, I guess I'll just do it like this. Whatever. I definitely don't want to play him without playing Geyser, because we're having a value fight right now. I'll happily see him some tempo. For that shit. That exact same shit. Oh wow. Alright. I'm just going to eat the 5 damage one time. This card was actually played alright. 3 mana, 4, 4. Oh shit, Ysara. That's mostly just, oh shit, because she's huge. Just don't want to deal with something that big right now. I'm going to value fight. Let's do it like this. Let's do it like this, because that card is usually not very good, but this is an actually okay time to drop that. Is that a buff? Oh my god, fucking kill me. Oh no. Not 288! Oh my goodness. This just got a lot worse of a situation for us. Alright, are we dead? It's entirely possible we're dead. We're not dead yet. Your magic shall not save you. Hello. The back door was in there. Oh, sorry. Don't be sorry, just fix it. <laughs> yeah, Miles, Miles, Miles. <laughs> I don't want to walk back there, it's a trap. He's out cold. I know, he's passed out. I'm gonna throw something on him. You can just pin. Just throw a pen, yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Come on, just bro. Be There's only the one cord right there that's kind of elevated. Miles. Miles. Hey. God, I thought he was dead for a second. Sure? Don't sleep like that, son. Come on, buddy. Come on, friend. Let's go. I think we send this here. Because otherwise he can do it. So he can't do that. And oh. He goes away. It's like, I can't go that way, Daddy. <laughs> such a good dog. We're going to go for a little walk. Alright. Remember, lock the back door. Hands consume you. Uh oh, face. Am I about to die? Did he just point me on a two turn timer? I'm dead. Yeah, we'll play. Well, I'm dead next turn. But, like, I'm dead. I don't think there's anything in my deck. That uh, saves me here. Yeah. 
Well played. All right, he got us. He got us. Cap Sapier. <laughs> Oh, golly gee. All right, let's see what we're up against here. Another paladin? Okay. Gonna be tough? Billstar! I think I'll definitely throw back double sword in Even if I added two. Unless if it's like a two, three, four situation. And even then, I feel kind of bad about keeping it, so. Okay, nice. River proc into Zubat. Pretty good. Saw that a little bit earlier. I'll well, just pass for now. No need to rush it out. That definitely sucks. I think we'll go ahead and play the slow value game here. We could do a really good like value on curve three drop, and that would kind of mess us up because I want to point out the river croc, but. Might not be able to. Oh, wow. That's pretty good. That was pretty good for him. <laughs> Ouch. Hmm. Do I glib volcanic potion? Is that what I'm looking for here? I mean, he could have just traded one for one. I can still do this. This is actually a really good play into what he's got, so I will do Egg Mapper. He doesn't have a way to deal one damage unless if he throws away the Poisonous, so that's pretty good. It's about the best time I can ever play Egg Mapper this game, I would imagine, so. Okay, that one's a spell. It's good to know. Or a weapon. Back to your home. That needs to die. I think I'm gonna have to glyph up an answer. Even if he clears one of them. Okay, which he didn't. What do we got? Nothing quite yet. Oh, we can actually just do this. That's right, and coin it out. I think I'll call that good enough. Are these dragons or beasts? Yeah, they're beasts. Okay. Look at that cute little raptor. Uh, yeah, I think we just, I think we take the sure thing. Why roll it, you know? I think it's a little too greedy to do anything else, so. Play it safe. Prevent the value. And he only has two cards left with plus one, plus one. And since we have three cards up on him, we should be able to outvalue him. It's just a matter of dealing with that initial tempo. You gotta remember card, the third card in his hand is a spell or a. Hmm. That was an interesting turn. Spell or a weapon. I definitely don't want to use this. I'd rather just trade that in, honestly. Play myself a nice little three drop here. I'll take Poisonous if I can get it. Okay. I guess I'll take the plus three health. Make myself a little dude killer. He overkills him a little bit each time, that's fine. Five health is kind of rough for a Paladin to deal with. That's fine. Good Polymorph uh, with the Glyph. I think I'm going to do it in our what here? Let's see what we can get here. Ooh, Firelands is really good. Yeah, we'll definitely take Firelands over those two. Um, let's think about this here. Three plus two is 
five plus three is eight and a pain. That could work. Unfortunately, I don't have quite the mana to make it happen. So I guess I can do this. And then just not attack. I think it's gotta be the best play. So if he attacks into that, like I can kill it because I have Frostbolt, so. I could also kill it with uh, Firelands as well. That'd be a little bit more difficult. We'll see what he does here. That was a really good minion to get the buff on. Ones like these that already have like really high attack and moderately low health, but because of that are competitively costed, um, those tend to be really good when they get buffed. Shit, I wasn't watching. Was that the furthest card? Show me time portal, Twitch! Come on, play the adapt again. Okay, it wasn't. It wasn't that card, so. This is still the card. I need to take it because he didn't do any of their spells or weapons, yeah. Oh man, he made it can't be targeted? Shit, that's actually really good. Wow. I, mean, I guess we silence it. Makes it a 3 7. Still kind of hard for us to deal with, but you know. Less threatening. By the holy light. So sure we can send it in there, but then I can frost bolt it. I can Firelands Portal, whatever he plays. I can send the three five in there. It's probably what I should do. Oh shit. That's tough. Man, we got the buff on Tyrion. That's so brutal. My goodness. Oh my goodness, that's so sick. Alright, Bomber. Bomber. We talked about this, Bomber. Come on. Come on, man. Come on. I think it's okay to play the 2-3, because if he tries to value, I'll just ping it in fire lanes next turn and be fine. Unfortunately, I didn't like combo this, but I have two more frost bolts, so I could actually get some value out of the Cryomancer. I tend to just think of her as a 5 mana 5-5 five, five, that I should really start thinking about, like, I need to maximize that plus 2 plus 2. So if I can get that battle cry off, that's a really, really valuable battle cry. Oh shit. That sucks. Oh, God, you willikers. That one hurts me right in the face. Just a pinch of it. Yeah, that's good. Oh, yeah, you got it. Fortunately, that weapon is what's going to toast me. The Ash Bringer, man, it's gonna move me into Ash. All of a sudden, we can't have value this guy. Reporting for duty. Okay, that's pretty good. She's not frost elemental. Come on, man. What to do? What to do? I mean, it dies with poisonous, but it gets rid of the poisonous. Say hello to my I'm trying to just fight out the value here. And with Ashbringer on top of the Poisonous, throwing out the Taunt from Tar Creeper wouldn't have helped, so... I really want to play Tar Creeper as soon as I can, that way I can play Steam Surger afterwards, but... We're waiting. Gotta be patient.
Every time he swings face with Ashbringer is good for us. Every time. This is what I'm talking about, like, he doesn't want to send it into a 3-1. But he's gonna anyway. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Love seeing that. Is that a 6 man and everything properly? Wow. Poor guy. Oh my god! Oh my god! No, the spam click! No! Not like this! Not like this! No! Oh my god. Not like this! Come on, man! I gotta get the greater healing potion. And I didn't. Man. Not like this, man! Come on! I have charged Devil Sword! I was probably just gonna play that and ping. It's like. I was just thinking, is there something I could do for posterity? Tap, 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 click. Uh-oh. What is that button? Whatever, man. Whatever, man. Oh, I can't believe I just threw that game. Okay. Okay, that's our fault. <laughs> that would be our fault. Well, that sucked. I guess we'll keep Frostbolt. I'm gonna throw back the elemental to this. It's already having Frostbolt. Ooh, if he plays a one drop, this is actually a really good start for us. I'm a little salty about that, but that's my own dumbass mistake, so you know. I got punished for being stupid and always interacting with the board. Whatever. <laughs> Sometimes it happens, you know. Sometimes you just hit next turn and lose the game. <laughs> oh man. Oh god. Whatever. It happens. I could bomb her. Or I could take the sure thing. I mean, it only needs to hit once, but there's five targets. So I could simplify that down to four targets. I mean, I could always coin out Frostbolt, you know? Let's go for it. Let's see if we can get the value. One. Okay. That's fine. Try to coin for a little bit of value there. That's fine. And that is a 3-3 in waiting, so. And we don't have to play it on this. Like, the uh, beasts are not that uncommon in the deck, so. Like, hell, we have one right here, you know? So we can take that out. Great. Allows us to play a little bit of a slower card. I'm gonna do the potion. So that's even slower. And this, like, it is better when I have more things. I only have one, two, two, so he's basically a five, four at that point. So let's see if we can do a little better. Okay, that's... He would have been better in this situation, but, um... He didn't try and high roll. He just knew he was gonna... That's a bad potion. Wow. Forgot that one was an option. 
I'm going to do this. Well, let's glyph first if we're going to do that. Oh, flame strike. That's pretty good. Doing that on an empty board feels bad, but I want to see if I can make it work here. So if I can, I get some really good value off it. Kind of relying on like the top deck too though, so it's very shaky ground. Oh darn. No, that's not so bad. Hey, it's not great. <laughs> Well, I would avoid it, but you know, that's yeah, fine. Let's well, replay this, and if he doesn't have an answer to it this turn, I can flame strike next turn to clear out his board. I see. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Probably not gonna flame strike then. I could silence it, that'd be funny. Uh, it's probably not the right play, though. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have anything to give this taunt, but it might be right to just play the tempo anyway. Mm. I guess I'll Frostbolt the 3 3 just so the 4 4 stays alive. And it's like, sure, he has a pretty good trade into that, but it's like playing, like, plus one attack to my nearby minion and summon two one ones. So, eh. Not so bad. That kind of hurts. If he doesn't trade there, though, flame strike's good, good. So, alright, great, perfect. Wonderful! Wonderful! Oh, nice, and I get to play Fledgling with it. That's so good. And it's like Fledgling has super priority over the 4-4, so that's really good. This is good. Looking good. All right, great. Nah, that kind of blows, but you know, whatever. Um, do I want to silence this guy? Probably not. I probably just want to delay. So let's do... Do I want it on the fledgling? Or do I want to 50-50 it on the rock? On the rock! <laughs> um, I don't really think there's that much of a difference between a 5-8 and a 4-7 here. So I'll just put it on fledgling. I'll do that. Alright, let's see what he can do about this board. There are a lot of board clears in Shaman. Volcano. He rolls the spell power totem here. Okay, he didn't. That's helpful. Lightning Storm doesn't hurt us so bad. He wouldn't play that if he had the AoE that hits his board too, so we can rule out... Uh, the one that deals five dollars. I think it deals five dollars. It's like five or six or something like that. Ooh, charge double source so good. Um, let me before I make a mistake though, check if I have lethal. <laughs> Spellbreaker. It probably doesn't matter. I would have lethal either way, probably. And yeah, I do. Would I have it either way? Yeah, yeah, I would. Okay. Well, let's do Spellbreaker just since we checked. All right, we got him. Hey, staying alive. I just can't believe we still lost that one game. That hurt. Hurt the soul. Jane! 
Arena versus Liadrin. All right, Paladin. John Key. You asked for it. Can I keep volatile if I don't have another two? One, two, three, and another. Uh, I guess I keep it just in case. I'd rather volatile than nothing. All right, well, I got plenty of volatile elementals, so. I got what I wanted. I don't think I finished playing with this board yet. That's right, I wanted to do these at the same time. So let's break all the shit on this one first. Okay, knock this off. I don't think there was anything else to do. At the same time. I think he does anything. Alright, uh, this is volatile here. So I can always ping next turn. Wait, oh, I wasn't hitting the right thing. Yes! It's just super frozen now. Doesn't actually do anything different. It's fine. I'm okay with this as a trade here. Don't mess with me. Throwing out my egg while I have the tempo to spare. Okay. Is there another thing to turn on? It's three. What do I get? I get nothing! Okay. Um, three, four. I guess this is fine, uh... Cause I can always ping it. Like, this would be good into that too, but whatever. This is a good potion to get, finally. I've forgotten how many bad potions there are, you know? I think it's really gonna make me pick her a lot less- Oh, I can break this- Whoa! What the fuck? What's in that? What is that? What- what is in there? Is that like a frozen murloc? Some sort of fishy murloc thing. Oh, that's kinda cool. I wonder if it's the same thing every game. Alright, so this is dead. You gotta be kidding me. Mm. I guess do this in pain. Let's do that, let's go value. Cause like, he can't even suicide here. He can try and waste the three damage, but that means he plays something that's really slow. So I'm less upset about that. And even so, it's like a 50-50. Oh, there is a green one. Come and say it. I thought it was just blue and red. Hmm, that is kind of put me at a loss here. I could take the 50-50, I'm taking a lot of damage. I'm going for it. Alright, nice. Never punished. Never punished, baby! And that activates the egg, too. So, that's pretty good. At a bare minimum, it activates the egg. If he doesn't kill it this turn, I might have a- oh. Uh, I'll be blast crystal potioning that. Go ahead and suffer the. What? What? Yes, that. Yeah, I'll go ahead and suffer the mana loss. It's fine. I mean, it means we can't play a charge double sword, but 
We can still play Sated Thresher Dawn, so, you know, whatever. I like that snow. Whoa! Really? Alright. I mean, okay. That might be a good card to pick. This is probably good. Problem is, I can't, like, chunk him out like I was going to now. I don't really have... Since I don't have charge Double Sword now! <laughs> um... Not the most efficient way to deal with it. I think I'll just ignore it for now. I'll let him take out the... Take out the Tar Creeper and get a little bit of value out of Augur there. It's unfortunate for us that we don't have an answer. Oh, I didn't know they spawned uh, infested looking gnolls. That's really dope. I've actually never seen one of these before. <laughs> Pretty cool. Like that art. Like that art style. Wow, that sucks, man. Um. Then I can't ping off the divine shield, so it's like, what's the point? Well, no, I can use it with the egg, so I guess that's fine. I guess we'll do that. And then pops the egg too, so yeah, that's fine. I'd rather have the higher damage on the room with the death rattle. So I'll do it like this. Like, sure, that puts it in killable range, but it summons a bunch of 1 1s, which is, yeah, whatever, it's fine. The problem is, we're down by two cards. So we're really invested in making sure that the board state carries us here. That's a little tough for us. What else you got? Jonky. Come on, Jonky. It's not going to be enough by itself. Play this and start getting some value on it, so I think I shall. It takes up six mana, so I have three left over. So I could AI this turn, since I have the board. So I think I will. I think I will, because I'm not pushing lethal anytime soon. I could try and develop this, but he has too much damage on the board. This might change things. I might send this there and then buff this guy up. That's a little off curve. Shoot, I should have done it like this. I just missed a attack power. Whoops. It's because I was still thinking about doing the Zubot. Ah, whatever. Missed one damage on that guy, if it matters, so I'll cry. <laughs> we'll cry on stream. We'll call that mistake worth losing the previous game, where I accidentally hit end turn. Oh no, he's got the thresher on too. Oh dear! Hmm, okay. We can silence the Thresher Dawn. Oh, and Volcanic, that's pretty good. Hmm. 
I'm gonna go face to see if it's a middle sack. Okay, it is good. And I'll do it like this. Go like that. Take this here. Play this so I have a beast again next turn. I probably would give it taunt if I could. Um, I'm gonna go sticky since I've already got so much power on the board. I, I could have like pushed a little bit closer to lethal, but with the plus three, I would have 17 on the board, and then this is plus one, and that's one damage. But in case of something like this, oh my god, the one damage matter. Wow. I mean, I'm not actually going to cry, though. I'm just going to feel bad inside. Oh, man. That's so brutal. Oh, God. That's so brutal. Well, there was some way I could deal with it instead, you know? These aren't beasts? Oh, they're plants. Shit. Oh, well. Alright, whatever. Oops, ah. Do this. And fledgling. And buff the fledgling. In the face. A little weak to AoE, but he would require, like, some pretty significant AoE. Like, double consecrate, or like, an equality first. That's pretty unlikely in Arena. A single Consecrate you might have? That sucks. We'll still have enough. Good. Does mean my hero power doesn't do... Oof, that's tough. Uh, doesn't do 3 damage anymore because I don't even reach that guy, but... Shoot! Shoot! Hmm. It's possibly still lethal with this getting Wind Fury. So that would be 8, 12. Wouldn't be lethal, but it would be very close. I think it's worth going for. Certainly worth checking for. Uh, Divine Shield's probably good here. Let's do that. And since we got Divine Shield on it, we'll go ahead and trade like this. Hello. Um, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. The Divine Shield will help it live a turn. Okay, great. You want the buff? Well, I mean, it takes out the little friend. But... Alright, nice! Hey, Doctor 3! Carrying us to victory! Alright, here's our four wins. We're into it being worth the gold, yes. Let's see if we can break into five, because five beyond is like value, so. Let us see. Alright, mage. Now I just... We just gotta remember not to pass a turn for no reason. We'll be fine. Nah, this is okay. I'll keep that. 2, 3, 4. And a reactive fast card. Not bad. I'll take it. Alright, let's see what he plays this turn. Hopefully River Croc can handle it. I 
What's it gonna be? Security. Ah, very well, very well. Uh, I could let that turn just to prep it out, but I'd rather save the flexibility for later. See what I really need out of it before I go for it. Yeah, that's fine. I'll see you at all, Creeper, and raise you at all, Creeper. Oh dang. Actually got a chain off it. That's really good. Suddenly that's better than my tartar creeper. <laughs> so unfortunately no chain is to be had here. Go ahead and ping like this. Because with the money berserker behind it, I basically have a 5-2 for next turn. It means I wouldn't be able to play the nesting rock, but I could still clean out infested uh, torn. So could make that work. Could make it work. Nothing to it but to do it. A okay, flood drain is <clears throat> a little spooky. You have to answer that. But you have a fast answer for it, so. Man, what a tempo turn for him. One mana, four, four. Ouch. All right. Hmm. I mean, we could glyph and try and dig for some AoE. That seems really good, too. I wasn't thinking at all about that. Glyph is kind of boom or bust, though. It's busto or robusto, but I think it's worth looking for. Oh, yeah, it's good. Man, I'd rather flame strike. I'm gonna hold position. Yeah, I'm gonna hold position here. And I'm gonna flame strike next turn. He probably will break through with the prophet and the ping fire blast to break through my taunt. And then start going for some value trades. Okay. But that puts that in range of flame strike. As long as he doesn't pick health, we're fine. Health or divine shield. Damn, but I can't coin out the ping. We need that to go to one of the two targets. Nice, nice. <laughs> and we have this next turn for a buff. That's silly. Oh my god. The value! Oh my god, that feels so good! Oh my god, yes! Oh, the value! <laughs> it's so good! Oh my god, he has Archmage. Come on, what? We were so excited! You're actually going to cause a problem for us? Come on, man. Alright, a couple ways we could do this. I think all of them actually involve Zubot, though. Yeah. We actually have to do it like this. Because this soaks a ping damage, so... Yeah, we couldn't do it like that. I mean, it would be a stupid way to do it like that, but... I'm not going to do it like that. <laughs> Go ahead and respect the Archmage. Potential value. We just got so much value out of our flame strike. I'm okay with that. I'm okay. Take out his legendary. Call it good. We got the charge double sword in hand, so we have a fast answer to something big. And we have nesting rock, so we have a slow answer to a uh, stealthy man. Uh, 
Uh, I'm actually just gonna play this in ping. A little bit slower return than I would like normally, but I'm gonna hold. Just hold. Take it slow. Alright, that's a targeted thingy. <laughs> so he has some sort of battle cry targeting or spell there, but it's single target. So that's good to know. That's why you shouldn't hover like that either. Because if he winds up playing his other cards and like still has that in hand, I will know that that's not an AoE, aside from maybe Meteor. So I don't have to play around Flame Strike or uh ooh. Okay. Well, I do get to do this, so this is pretty nice. And I guess I'll just send the 3 1 in there. Because it's like you would hero power it that hero power the 3 1 down next turn anyway, so. Whatever. I have a 7 3. It'll take a card to deal with, probably. Secret, secret, you play the secret. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, just fine. Um, I'm gonna do this so I can get the nesting mouse taunt. Oh, nice, that's pretty good. In case things go wrong, we can catch back up with that. Do I really want to send some three in there? I guess. I don't want to leave it vulnerable. He has a targeted thing still in hand, so I don't want to risk him having a way to deal with it. Okay. Meteor. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do this. I actually have Dragonfire Potion that I could use next turn in case he does some sneaky play around thing with something really high health. I could still make it work. It's gonna be hard to get a lot of value out of this because I got so much value out of Flame Strike earlier. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what we can make happen here. This kind of does already deal with the board anyway. It's just a matter of if he's got something in hand. I'm pretty sure that's that's that card on the left was the targeted one still. I think that's still the targeted one. Okay. So I'll do this. I'll give my battle cry. And I'll Throw down some anti AoE. I just gotta keep the Devil Sore Egg positioned around a second meteor in case he does have a second one. There's Frostbolt. It's fine. Doesn't mean we can't play this though, which kind of blows. Yeah, it's like the best card we could have drawn. In. Mm, I should have played it on that side, that way I could play Big Time Racketeer. Well, I guess it's still okay to play Big Time Racketeer in the far right. That's such a bad idea. That's such a bad idea. I don't think he knew it triggered the Death Rattle. That's such a bad idea if you know it triggers the Death Rattle. Okay. <laughs> Hey, Fob wins! That's right, we got the value going! Very nice, very nice. Even when we occasionally just throw a game away, we still we still can get some value. Not too bad. Raxar, Jimmy Yu. You asked for it. All right, Jimmy Yu. 
Um, it's gonna be a really cheeky two, three, and then four. I'm gonna keep that just in case there's a chance for something here. If he plays like Alley Cat, turn one, and then I Berserker, and then turn two, he doesn't do the adapt thing, but he plays like another three, two. We can get some serious value. We'd have, I, I mean, a Ramoni Berserker would be a 5 1, which is good and bad, but it's against Hunter, so the bad is less bad. It's mostly good. Going into turn 4, too, that'd be really nice. So, see what he has. If he doesn't open up with a, like, one attack, one drop, I'm probably not going to go for it, though. Let us see what Jimmy Yu has in store for us. Alright, coin. Coin crawler, okay. Um, I think I'll play... I think I will play the elemental into that. Because that should handle whatever he plays, too. He could have the adapt. But even then it's a 50-50, so... And if he wins the 50-50, I should be able to clean them both up with Volcanic Potion anyway. And then everything would have gone like two for two, but he burned coin. So that would be a win for us. Let's see what he does here. We've asked him quite the question with that Volatile Elemental. Jimmy is in the Think Tank. Hero power, okay, okay. That one's pretty good for us, because that lets us develop the Amani Berserker. And now we can always ping that. In addition to doing the Volcanic still, so... We'll see. You might have a low drop. To coin out a turn 1, 2 drop, and then Hero Power on turn 2 feels pretty bad. Did he not buff anything? Wow, that's, that's unfortunate for him. That poor son of a bitch. Um, I think I am gonna, well, three equals two against Hunter, is that true? Not really, there's the one minion that does damage equal to its attack. So I'm gonna go like this. I'm missing out on three damage to face for developing a two three. That's gotta be the right play, it's arena. Like that's gotta be right. I really want to play this. But I feel like things will go badly if I do. <laughs> um, I could draw first. See if I get my other Frostbolt. Frostbolt is like the money top deck here. My bomb and rail speed. I'm going to draw. Because I don't really see much use in doing other things. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll go like this, and I'll go face. So he can go ahead and trade into the 2-3. Okay. Okay. That trap is a problem for me. Soitingly, that is a problem. Hmm. You do this for snipe, but. <laughs> it's almost never snipe. Snipe's not that bad, but I can't imagine drafting it too frequently in arena. Freezing would suck. But freezing's always gonna suck. Yeah. Alright. Alright, that's fine. It's fine. It's not what we want, but it's fine. It's fine. It's whatever. I'll give him Doctor 3, I guess. 
So he winds up two for one with the drink, and he takes out Doctor Three, which is a pretty scary card, but you know, whatever. Sets up a nice volcanic ping. If he plays a bunch of low drops, that would be nice as well. Yeah, so much gunfire. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. That one's a little tough for us. I'm trying to glyph up an option. Oh, yeah. well, let's do it. Let's go ahead and glyph. Get an AoE spell. This is good though. I'll take that. I will take that. Because then I can Firelands portal it next turn. And I've got the one health egg now. So, we're pretty good. We're looking pretty good. Looking good. Unfortunately, we don't have a drop to play with this just yet. Give him the three drop off the top of the answer. Oh! Oh, that's a big guy. Oh, Wind Fury. Oh, Divine Shield. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> All of a sudden, we got a problem. Well, we're not really doing this. Because I don't have a way to finish the Volcano Store off, fortunately. And it can go into that twice, but at least it has six health, so he does have to go into it twice. So unfortunately, I don't really have any way to punish him. Like, I don't have the Flame Geyser from this yet. Yar. I do have this, though. I can throw out the taunt. Uh-oh. We're at 10 health. Are we dead? Uh-oh. Gastropod. Uh-oh. Oh, no. So many little beasts. I feel like the animal bite is coming. Yeah, we might have lost this one. We may have very well lost this game. And I'm going to give him a nice juicy 5-5 five five he can trade into instead. So he's going to have to use one charge to break through the taunt. Okay, we're dead. <laughs> Alright. Not bad. Five wins on a run that we threw away and win. Not bad, not bad. I'll take it, I'll take it. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Let's get it. Let's pop open that key. Whoosh. Alright. Yes. Yes. Give them to Yes. Ooh. Oh, the gold is mine. Yes. Well, then open up that pack. Soon we shall come to. Soon. Right, let's see what we got here. Whoa! Legend. Oh, I actually don't have that quest. Ooh, we might build a hunter quest. That would be fun. I hear that deck is trash. That sounds fun. Let's do that at some point. We might do that next episode. That'd be fun. That would be fun. A little bit of fun. Before the end of the... Uh... <laughs> Alright, well... Thank you for tuning in as always. I hope you guys had a good old time hanging out with Samarina. The Frost Festival is over, but you know what that means. We're ever closer to the beginning of the actual Knights of the Frozen Throne. Oh, yes. Now, as you saw, we're sitting here pretty at over uh, 3k worth of gold. Uh, we're getting our arena skills nice and warmed up. 
Uh, we've got, I think, like 1,200 dust, something like that. So uh, we should be able to craft a pretty good deck right off the bat and start playing some ladder and probably hit Legend the first month. I mean, if we don't continue to do the Race to Legend stuff, which, by the way, we're also doing this month. And I think Knights of the Frozen Thorn is going to be out, like, next week, over the course of the next seven days, I think, is when it comes out. Um, so we might... We might not be able to do the Race to Legend thing after all because we're gonna it's gonna be such a crazy meta after the initial release. Um, and we're not gonna have so much dust. We, we might actually not keep doing the uh, just arena to keep ourselves at rank 20 for a while. We might actually try and uh, grind up to legend before the uh, release date, uh, depending on when the release date is. We'll see during our next episode whether or not we continue with more arena fun or if we go to the ladder and see how quickly we can place high up on ladder before the release actually comes out. So we'll see. We'll see. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys next episode. Show's over. The righteous and the meek may recoil at its cost. They have no vision. Power alone is not to be feared.